fucking about here. We're back. Do you think there'll be seven subs in the top ten? You have two minutes to gamble right now. We're not fucking about today, guys. Win the t-shirt bet, says Dom. Why? What did you say, Dom? Windfall. Spiffs up, thanks to subs and bits. The blams. Wait a minute, right. Mary Biscuits, thanks to the sub. Dav, I, I, I can't quite see your name. I bet you any money you said something like black, and this isn't black, this is green. But you said blue, and you think this is blue. That's the sort of thing that people do in this stream, this community. But Mega Man thinks the sub. Spiff Snap thinks of the bits. Can we please have a controversial blam? Thank you. Do you know what? I'm just going to fucking say it. I'm just going to fucking say it. There <laughs> you are. Fuck it. Don't care. I'm, del I'm deleting my account after this anyway, so I don't care. I don't care anymore. Nobody else seems to care. Hello everybody, when are we getting Red Dead Redemption uh, Redemption 2? Winter. Can we just say 7 or above, it's giving me a twitch? No, because it isn't 7 or above, that's not the bet. It is 7. Will there be only 7 subs in the top 10? I hate to think of what you'd be like, at a, some of the cunts here would be like at a, a casino. Roulette. Putting all your money on, like, 20. And it comes in 25. And you're like, right, pay you. Pay you. Mulga thinks the sub. Glaswegi thinks the sub. Thank you very much. I put all my money in even. That It's three. Pay you. It's even or above. Even means even or odd. It means it can be it can be even, but it can also be odd. You didn't say you didn't say it wasn't it. It wouldn't be odd. I have put my money on even, but that's not to say that I didn't put it on odd. You didn't say that. Sarah thinks of the sub. Scary Black says, talking of odd, there's Lemmy on. And then Small Fluffy says, you're odd. Mick and Spooky thinks of subs. Thinking of taking a wee day trip to Millport for the day. Any recommendations on what we can get up to? The usual thing is cycling around the island. Renting a bike for mapes. <coughs> cycling around the island. Um, other than that, fuck all. Crocodile Rock. Pucci and VT Experience thanks to the subs. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? I don't have a vase, do I? That's funny, because I've got buttons here to do that. I've got buttons here to do that. I don't remember pressing that. Hmm. Christ, might go to the doctors for that. Might go to the doctor. I don't remember doing that, Lama. <clears throat> I don't remember, and I don't remember, because I don't think I would press the button and have that sound alert in my ears while I'm speaking. I, I just don't think I would do that, to interrupt myself like that. Oh well. Must be losing control of my faculties. Joto and, and Mackie. Both, you just lost a dimple. Okay. Lama, you've just lost a dimple. Dimple of uh, shortbread. Sort of like you weren't speaking right then. I was in between words. 
I was in between sentences and thoughts. Mara, thanks for subs. How long will it take for this wholesome shit on threads to fuck off? It's already no wholesome. I'm already more than about it. Once they bring in the follow following list, which they said is, uh, I, I think one of the first things they're going to uh, bring in, they're working on it. Then there's an actual point to following people. And it isn't just, there's a good chance of maybe seeing some of the people that you follow and the, you know, mixed in amongst the motivational quotes and, and posers. Charlie thinks the sub. Finty thinks the sub. Thank you very much. Family threatened to kick me out if I don't stop singing Life is Full of Surprises. I refuse to stop. Don't stop. Don't, don't start to enjoy it. I was like that with Pink Floyd The Wall. My brother used to play it all the time. Hazy. Joe, 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 Joe to Mackie. Thanks for not forgetting about me. Thanks for the subs. Terrible Clint, thanks for the sub. Can you pop a wheelie? No, really. You've got to have a, spare, a certain type of bike. Steve and Roger. Charlie, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Don Sean, Quebec, I think it's so. Bet your arse hair is pure caked. Your bouth and wank. Projecting much? Can you believe there's, there's some guys... Uh, and, and I read an article about it, or I saw people talking about it. There's some guys who refuse to uh, like clean their ass, and when they're having a shower, they see uh, as like washing between their ass cheeks or near their asshole or something. Some sort of, is some sort of submissive penetration sort of fucking thing by their own hand. I read about it. Don't know if it's a myth. Don't know if it's a myth. When I see me, you won't find anybody on this fucking planet who is mere up there when it comes to cleaning these arse in the shower. And now that I've got these nails, It's alright, is it done? It's done. It's done. Grit Millsy thinks the sub. <sighs> Grit Millsy. What are the posers up to in today? It's just something like what we're up to this morning and they're you know, they're like that or that or next day a motor or something. Boss Galino, right, I'm just like that. Block, mute, mute, block, block, mute, mute, block, block. Um Three wee Craigs. Thanks for the subs. Just like that. Thread suspicion. I'm not, I really, I really doubt I'm going back to um, Twitter. Because I kind of uh, almost like the challenge. The fact of uh, something like 25,000 followers on in, uh, Instagram and threads. Something like... 550,000 on Twitter and that's been built up here how long? 13 fucking years or something. Quite like just uh, something like that. T Twitter just feels kind of not going to get all high and mighty. Um, But Sam thinks the sub. I tagged you in a video made a silly fight and rocking not sure if you thought, I thought it was shite. I didn't look at it. Sam I get sent kind of a lot of things. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll look at this. I actually couldn't be asked clicking on it. Um, I thought, is this... I, honestly, I was, I was just ready to tap and I just thought, oh, I can't be fucked. I thought, wasted effort. I thought, it, it isn't for me. He's no... He won't have made it for me. He's just about like that. I've made this thing. Uh, he might want to see it. Dylan thinks the sub. And Elon Musk is a wank. Well, he is and I don't like him. But you've also got all the shite that uh, Mark Zuckerberg did. You've got all the, you know, you've got Jeff Bezos and um, bad things that um, 
Amazon day, you've got Nestle and shit like that. Fucking stuff I put in my hair or the shampoo and all that, tested on fucking animals or the fact um, I eat animals and I don't know. It's a wee bit hard to be high and mighty. I just, I just like what I like and I don't like what I don't like. And then there's certain things I really don't like. And there's certain things that just rub me up the wrong fucking way. And that's it. And he rubs him up the wrong way. Robbie, thanks for subs and bits. Hello, Australia. I just don't, I just don't like that he's, um, that he's bought Twitter and he's like, Right, let's see what... I'm going to say this and see what people think it. I'm going to say that and see what people think it. And the type of people he... He, he looks like he's, he's, he's trying to go out. Let's get the worst sort of cunts on and let's get them arguing because that generates stuff. It just seems like so he's interested in and he's also a bit like that himself. I'm just... I, I was looking for some sort of uh, Twitter alternative. But again, I'm not being all... I, I don't like to appear to be too fucking high and mighty because I'm sure there'll be some sort of contradiction or um, hypocrisy in what I'm saying. There's just some things I'm into and some things I'm no. Depending on what side of bed I get on. Uh, but I, I really like that the whole threads thing has upset him. Nodmeister and Steady. DC, thanks for subs. Thank you very much. Congrats on finishing your degree. Oh, the, the beating of the bounds video is there, but I've not no looked at it yet. Um, oh, hi. Says, they're all in it together, for fuck's sake. Nice one. Hmm. Nice one. <laughs> you don't know they're all in it together. <laughs> okay. You got threads. Follow up. <coughs> Top of the pyramid. Just look into the Bilderberg group. That's what I'm going to say. The Bilderberg Group. That's what I'm going to say. What's that? What's one of the other ones? No, the Illuminati. What's the other one? There's another one. The Builder Bear. Look, just just check out the Builder Bear Workshop Group. The Rothschilds. There's another something else. The Masons. I was like, look into the, look into the. Basically, all the world leaders get together to talk about how they're going to, like, do it their way, democracy or not. Gertond, thanks for the sub. Symbioticism, thanks for the sub. Glad you like Scylla. The upcoming Willy Wonka film, Wonka? Is it the one... When he's uh, younger or something. It'll be absolutely shite. Of course it'll be shite. It's got to be shite. I'll look at that in just a moment. I'll look at that in just a moment. But first... But first... An exploit. Bill, what would you like to say? James, I owe you an apology. I was wrong. Come on. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. And I think you're absolutely right. I think that, um... Do you know what? What Hugh Grant clip? And you are right. I was wrong. I, you... for, some re- so for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, oh, God. I thought we were better <laughs> off. And clearly, I was wrong. Well, don't beat yourself up, though, mate. Listen to all the people that told you. You're going to listen to the whole morning telling they've, they've been whispering in your ear. Not well, just for two actually, and a half years, for 30 
he is. I was wrong. A slug I am so sorry. Oh, Bill, man, come on. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. I'm so sorry. Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Amy Peanut Fills, I think, the subs. Bobby's doing very, very well. She was just lying about yesterday, then not looking very pleased. Infinity Rocket, Chelsea and Ham thinks the subs. Bobby King come out to play, yes. Say hello to Viv. What is the guy saying in this song? It's for an interview, uh, not an interview, a uh, calling. Phone call Colin. Slugworth, hurry up. Nope, blow it. Will seven be in the top ten? Seven and only seven. Pay the bearer of this check. Seven hundred pounds only. And you go in to the bank with that check and say, Yes, uh, I've been given this check. If you can give me one million pounds, please. But it says seven hundred pounds only. I know, but what does that mean though? What does only mean? If they meant exactly, they would have said exactly. What does only mean? It, it, they probably mean... Yeah, that's it, it's over. Yeah. Will there only be seven subs in the top ten? No. Let's do this. about a quarter of my subs when I went on holiday for 10 days. Oh well. It's alright. I don't, I don't, I don't, it's fine. I'm going to be doing it regardless. I'm going to be doing it regardless. I don't care. You desert me. Listen folks, you have been very kind to me over the years. I don't care. Just like fucking arseholes. Assholes. Intelligent, anonymous, stray, thinks the subs. And what does seven mean? See, when we say the number seven, does that actually mean seven? Because within seven is also the number like three. And also, seven, there's a, there's a potential for it to be male. No, everything is seven. Sometimes something that was seven can then be twelve. So who who's to say? Intium. Man continues job after being fired. Congrats. Man continues job after being Fired. Um, Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? Well, I don't have a vase, do I? Craig went into work. I mean, security, new guy. They never had security before. Said, um, I'm, I've, I've uh, not to allow you in. And Craig said, this is my place of work. You've, it is no longer your place of work, sir. This is my place of work. You have been told you were let go. This is my place of work. Could you please tell John that I will come in and work for nothing? I'll work for nothing. 
Um, I'm, I've instructed not to pass on any communications or anything like that. All right, in. And Craig went, like, what's that up there, by the way? Is that not a security risk? Looking up to the clouds. And the security guy, because he cared about security stuff, went, like, what's that? What? Craig went right past him. Right past him. Right through the door. The guy went, like, Dip! And just left it and let, and he went, he went away. Security guy, because he just sort of fucked it. I, I'm no, I, I don't want to uh, face the music. So he went. And Craig got into the office. An office, of, like, a call centre. There's about a hundred people there. And said, right. And Mary went like, oh my God, look, look his back. How did he get in? I thought he got security. He went like, right, where's John. And they all went like that. Just, just leave. Leave. You got sacked. Leave. I fucking leave, mate. And Mary went like, I'm scared of him. And John came out like that. John stood up. He was behind a group of people. John stood up. And he went like that. It's all right. I've got this. I'm all right. It's all right. I've... It's a drink of water that's the most disgusting. It's like, what, what are you washing down? What are you washing down your throat? Um, and John went like, it's all right. I've got this. I've got this. Craig, I said this as a friend. But you're no longer required at this. And, and Craig went like, this was my company. Yes. Yes. And you took, you sold the shares to uh, Sally, some to me, and some to uh, Gerald. And we kept you on. Now we'd like you to leave. And Craig went, this is my company. I don't care about shells and things like that. Well, in the eyes of the law. And Craig went like, yo, fuck the law. And he pulled it a fucking, like, fucking petrol bomb and fucking shotgun and all that and fucking went through them. The end. Wait, there's an epilogue. Hold on, get rid of that first. When he went down stairs to leave, that security guard had come back. And he went like, I, I, I was going to go away there. But I thought, come back, face the music. Like, you you beat it. Like, he'd got a new kind of bravery. Like, he wanted to make up for the his uh, shyness. And went like, right, fuck off you. You're not allowed in. And Craig went like that. You just, you know what? All right, and I will. And he walked away, thinking to himself, I could have blown his fucking head off there, but I chose not to. That's how powerful I am. I, I, he, he will never know how close he came to death. And then Craig went like, ah, you know what? Fuck this. And went back. And took a shotgun and went, I'm going to blow your fucking head off. He said, don't, I've got a wife and wins. He said, put the shotgun in your mouth then. Put the end of the shotgun in your mouth then. I'm not going to pull the trigger, but if you don't, I will. If you don't do it, I'm going to blow your fucking head off. But if you just put the two barrels in your mouth, right, if you can just hold it there for 10 seconds, I will not do it. And the guy went like that, horns shaking like fuck, put it in his mouth. And Craig was like that, right, you got 10 seconds. And then he went like that to him. Actually, I might change my mind. And the guy went, oh, went, don't move, don't move though, or I'll definitely pull the trigger. 10 seconds passed, and he went like that. Don't move, don't move. Oh, oh, 
What do you think it's going to feel like? Just everything goes dark, black. What do you think? What? Do you think you'll feel it? Do you think you'll feel it? Hey, what? Blow his fucking heat off, man. The end. It's a Tyler Disco. Scovern thinks it's subs and bits. Get Basel. And Basel might make an appearance. Thanks. That's a wee, a wee um, epilogue for you there. Please play Red Dead Redemption 2. I told you I've got it. And I'll play it when I want. I've got Dead by Daylight. I'll play that when I want. Silla's getting lined up. I'll play that when I want. I'll do what I want. If you're desperate to see Red Dead Redemption 2 or anything else, you play it. I'm going to do what I want and that's when I'll be at my happiest. Mowgli and Banjo. Robbie thinks of subs and bits. I have ADHD like you clearly do too. I've been for a test and they said I've maybe, maybe no, so I don't have a confirmation of having ADHD. And I can stream and uh, do too. And I can stream of consciousness make up stories too. Mine are not as good as yours. So I'm wondering, do you have a process when you do an improv? Is there any structure? Of course you can fucking do. Remember, it's nothing to do with it. I don't think it's it. F? F? I'm not seeing anything. Looks fine to me. I don't think it's anything to do with ADHD. I don't think I've got ADHD. I've got something. Don't know what it is. Um, Gridlock and Costolo. Dougal. Thanks for subs. Let me come back to that. No, it's different uh, layabouts and vagabonds the daytime and the functional members of society in the evening streams. It's hard to tell because of a day or night time stream, it's um, without the mic and the camera. That itself might change the way people behave because nothing's really getting said by me. Nobody can react to what I'm fucking saying. Three wee Craigs. Thanks to, thanks to the, the three quid. You won't have to worry about the dangle berries getting caught in your arse hair. If it's if it's hairline I T apostrophe S, so that that's it is. If it is hairline, replicates your heads, heads, H uh, E A D S, no apostrophe. And my heads, I've got multiple fucking heads. I. God bless, God bless you, God bless your fucking journey, to to learning some like grammar and punctuation and how to bloody type. Fixer, absinthe, fix. there, that perfect fucking example of why grammar and that is, is important. Specky and Lena's Bobby, Luigi, thanks to the subs. If you show your face at Future Islands in Edinburgh, you're getting rid Why the fuck would I be going to see them in Edinburgh? I'm in Glasgow. Don't need fucking Edinburgh. Neither for like, oh, they've got an exhibition through there or the Fringe or something. Other than that, never quite a fucking concert. Any country has got a concert in Edinburgh, but no Glasgow or wanks. It's always some fucking posh, fucking English sort of band or something. Or it's like, say, Richard D. Grant doing his book tour. He's got that one in Edinburgh. Not a fucking sign him in Glasgow. You see it? You see it? You, 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 see, you see bands or whatever... And they just the England. Or see if the day company, uh, Scotland, it's like a, a, a wee venue in um, Edinburgh and then like Perth. Because there's a lot of English up there. I think, I don't know why it is. I've got a theory. I've got a theory. Uh, Robbie. Maybe you're not enjoying your improv stories because you're sitting there by yourself, then it? See, if I was sitting here by myself with nothing, well, I'm here by myself, but I'm no, I've not got an audience in any way, and I try to come up with something, I would maybe kind of stall and go, uh, uh, I think the environment you're in can really affect you.
and consider it thinks the sub. Do you think Arcelor was an actual psychopath? Her Oxo Cube Orange Revelation. Or that? No, 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 no. I think it, um, I don't know, some people have just got this kind of ego thing where they don't just think they're it. They just like, fuck everybody. Specky and Lanel's Bobby. Uh, Rick 5G. Thanks to subs. It's gone very well. Fixer. Thanks to the subs. No, I've not got. I don't. I don't know if I've got ADHD or fucking if I'm autistic or anything like that. I cannot be fucked getting it checked. I don't know. I'm really not interested. If I, if I, if I, if I could, I, I don't trust people. If I could go, if a, if a Sunday, the day, I could get a phone that I pop in and they pure know their stuff and I get it done and dusted in ten fucking minutes, it would be a bit interesting, a bit like. Um, Checking your heart rate. Oh, I get a heart rate more not to, to see what my heart rate is. It doesn't make any difference to me. Oh, look, it's went up. Look, it's went down. It's it's interesting, slightly, but I'm not as interested as what I, what I was like maybe two years ago. Craig thinks the bits. Joe Longthorn, fucking brilliant. Kit Kat thinks the sub. Finish your fucking night shift. Well, it's the night shift. Night shift, just like you. Luxury pigeon, tempo. Luxury pigeon, thanks to the subs, tempo, thanks again. You know, see this? I was thinking about this yesterday, this song, right, because I, I like it. It's one of the few songs for that album that I would actually play these days. I used to listen to like, the whole album and then skip the odd song, but um, I just like the sound. And I remember th yesterday I was thinking, I look it up now and again, what genre is this? What is this? What is this based on? What came before that kind of sounds like that? Um, I, I was reading about it yesterday. I it's kind of Steely Dan like it's it's like um, what's his name? Donald Fagan, um, Nightfly. I guess I can say no, not the Nightfly itself, but all right. Anyway, I was reading about it yesterday. That song. Uh, Susan Rogers, the uh, sound technician uh, that he worked with, he recorded that song. He he's, he does all the instruments, and he programmed the uh, what is it LM one drum machine thing. Then all that, and she said uh, they had a new console thing. Whatever the fuck that is in the uh, the mixing desk or something, and there was a problem with. He'd, he'd recorded it all, done the whole tape and everything, but um, like I think all the instruments and then listened, she listened to it back or something and it was all fucked like all the high end was away or the, you know it's kind of high frequencies because something to do with the voltage of the thing that was fucked and she fixed it after the song but she says it sounds that way by accident that kind of, she says it's got a kind of underwater sound to it. I never noticed it, and I thought it was just, uh, it was deliberate, you know, kind of, listen. I don't mean, I don't mean with that, I think that's a Hammond, no, it's a, he's playing a DX7, it says, and a Hammond, I think the, I think the Hammond is a, other than he's singing, I think, and that's uh, because it was fucked, because something went right, it's no, not because it's wobbling. Um, it was um, just in the high end, I think. It's not that kind of... No, that. I also read... I also read... Um, it was on this album. If I, if I was your girlfriend... 
Don't worry, I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna move on. There was another fuck up with this as well. I think, I think it was this song. I think the input for the mic or something like that was uh, turned up too high. So it ends up clipping. I think she, either she or somebody else was like, oh fuck, I fucked this up. And uh, apparently he liked it. It's here and there. There's a there's a slight sort of distortion or clipping sort of way. It doesn't crackle, but I think it's that. I could be talking shit. I could be talking about this and then you look it up and it's the wrong song. And I'm like, hear how you can hear it. You can hear it. And it's I'm talking absolute fucking shit. All these things that come about by accident. Eh? Have, have you come about by accident? Probably. Chips with cheese. Thanks to the sub. Black, white pudding, hash browns. Black pudding, love black pudding. On the, the breakfast, I prefer just um, a chippy sort of thing. No, no, that, no, 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 uh, no come by accident, come about. Crocodile and Intelligent thinks the subs uh, seven quid, thank you very much. I have spoken about Jesse Ray and I have showed him and I have shown uh, Inside Out by Odyssey and I've told the story about how he apparently signed away the, the rights to it and then it became very popular. Chris and Dudsey thinks the subs. Thanks for tier two. During the rest of the about to steal your horse and you came in and said, you're right. I just said, just admiring your horse and sprinted away. Oh, I, I can't remember that, but I'm, I, I would have suspected, see, even if you weren't going to knock it or something, I would have suspected you anyway, whether you were innocent or no. We'll be fine, thanks to Fiverr. Listen to your audio uh, autobiography non-stop in my holiday journey. Light on humour, heavy on empathy. Thanks for writing it. You're welcome. I don't quite know what you mean. You're saying I'm no fucking funny. Heavy on empathy. What for me? Me for me. My empathy for me. What is it you're saying? I'm just joking, by the way. Don't give us another five or explain. It's fine. Thank you very much. I know. Let's get... Let's, ten, I, was, I was on 10.30 stream last night, by the way, playing... Dead by Daylight, Dan was in the voice chat, I was not there, kind of get on the voice chat at night. Fucking good to be back. Um, Russ is the next step. But I said, I said, it was, it was me, Dan and James, 10.30. Thank you for the games. Um... And I think uh, ten thirty was about to like oh let's get a fourth person let, let let's see if we can invite in I maybe said oh it'd be good if we had a team team of four who can we get in and I was like no no I was like no 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 I mean I didn't I didn't I, I was typing it I, I, I couldn't hear me in the mic but I was like no 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 here's here's what I'm playing games with ten thirty if I play games at all ten thirty. Dando. Cater cakes, that's it. Not a single cunt else. There's other people who I think they're alright. They're alright. There's a familiarity. There's been a bit of banter. I think we get each other. I think it's alright. Once you start doing that with one or two people, uh, Scrooby's Pip, no. Uh, who, who I fucking like now because I've thought about it it's not about that person it's about the next degree because if you get in like say this person who you like they're pals with somebody else who you don't quite know that well and then they get them in and then you go like that, and you're playing Dead by Daylight, and you go like that, and I, and I want to be on the voice chat with Dead by Daylight a lot, but you might go like that. Fucking hurry up and heal me! And then, they don't, they're not familiar with you, you're not familiar with them. So it's all a wee bit weird, and they go away to fucking Reddit, go like that, he shouted at me in Dead by Daylight. He's evil. Um, So, that's only one thing though. That's only one thing. There's all other complicated... And, and, and another thing, 
if I was playing Dead by Daylight and then somebody who I'm not really familiar with goes like that, uh, hear me, you cunt. I'd be thinking, you fucking calling a cunt? I don't fucking know you. Don't you? I, it's one thing to be a username in my fucking chat, but actually saying that to me, I don't fucking know you, you cunt. You calling a cunt? Heal me, you cunt. Who the fuck are you trying to make a name for yourself? On the back of him, the back of her? Hey, the fuck. So it's it's mutual. The feeling's mutual. People don't get on. People don't get on. And another thing. Now there's Scruffy, for example. Scruffy. I like Scruffy. Scruffy... Scruffy's uh, Scruffy's a bit cheeky Scruffy's a bit cheeky And I think we've got an understanding with the cheek I think that's alright Scruffy there, one of my mods I played Overwatch uh, with Scruffy And Scruffy's the sort of person I noticed in Overwatch When Scruffy is a healer Will decide Nah, I'm not going to heal you Purely for my amusement In your own team Nah, I'm not going to heal you Purely for my amusement. He's the sort of person who would do that, I think. I could be imagining it, but I think I think he's that type of person. That's all right. Now, imagine I get scruffy and then I get my dead by daylight or something. That's fine. But then, and, and everything's perfect and fine. Then you've got somebody else who considers himself to be like, well, if you're getting him in, why are you not getting me in? And then you start putting people's noses at a fucking joint. And then you might start going like that. Alright then. Alright, and I will get you in. And you in. And you in. The more people you get in, the greater the impact on the people you don't get in. And the harder they take it. Now you might be thinking. You're overthinking, Lemmy. You're paranoid. This is based on hard evidence, hard learned experience. You're looking at somebody who has been traumatised to his very fucking core with all of this. And I'm like that. 1030, you. Dandle, you. Care kicks you and not a single person more when you could be like that if I see one other fucking name no 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 Nick on else one other name in any of these fucking games I'm uh, uh, slippery slope I've been there I've experienced it and it's fucking hell. Right, here we go. Cron, G Dad, Boblin. Thanks for the subs. This is what you think, this is what normal people think. Who gives a fuck? I don't get invited into your game. You don't want to play with, us. you do, you don't. So what? I've got a life. I don't care. What you want about? Why are you thinking about it that much? No, everybody is like you. No, everybody is like you. So that's why I'm like, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Scott says, Lemmy has no life. You will have no life by the time I'm finished with you. Because I'm getting into the Undertaker business. I'm relying on that one quite a lot. Jay Groves and Mania. Thanks to subs. Because I'm becoming a, a, a doctor, uh, a nurse that deals in palliative care. I saw, I just saw the Hollies and reminded me of uh, Buddy Holly. And I was walking past the King's Theatre in Glasgow the other day. During, what day would that have been? I don't know if it was a Sunday, it might have been a fucking Monday or something. It was like two o'clock in in the afternoon. Um and people were piling out. 
It might, it might have been, it might have been Sunday, but I think it was like something like Monday. People were fucking piling out of an afternoon show at the Kings. I was like, what, what's this then? I was like, why is it so busy here? And I saw they're all coming out. I was like, what is, what is this? And I think it was like, fucking, uh, Kings Theatre. The Buddy Holly story, the fucking cunts were piling out. And it wasn't all like, they're all like old. There were some cunts that, that looked like maybe in their you know, 30s or something. For the Buddy Holly story. It's amazing. I thought you said the Hollies. Well, the song was by the Hollies, but it reminded me of Buddy Holly. Tons of people going to see this show during the fucking daytime. Buy tickets. Was this the 12th? Half two? I saw there. Half two. It was a half two show. Look at that. Wednesday. Is that the day? I could go and see that. Oh yeah. Oh fucking fucking flashback seeing this. Checking this out for my fucking London show. I was looking at something like this for the fucking uh, my show at the Apollo, London Apollo. Checking this out every minute of the fucking day. Oh, I, I dot there, I, I was very familiar. See that? See that shape? Like the grey ones are like uh, tickets that have been sold. I would be very familiar with the shape of the tickets that were on the, um, the seats that were they sold. And I'd come back like in an hour or an hour after that. I, I remember the patterns for the seats, I And I'd be like, that one's kind of like that and that one was like that. And I'd be like, wait, that used to be on a... a you know how that looks like maybe uh, the front of a Jaguar? You know, a Jaguar motor? If you're looking, you know, if you're looking at it, if it's right hand side, it's pointing it towards the right. That there, right, that there. Now Jags used to have that at the front, did they? They did have that at the front, didn't they? What would you call it? Um, Jaguar. What would you call that? <laughs> Ornament. Hood. What well, hood? Bonnet. Bonnet. Just the ornament. Okay. Aye, that there. They must have got fucking well rid of them. Because cunts would just sort of grab stuff like that. The half. The bonnet. That, I would do things like, oh right, so see that? That's kind of like the front, the front of a jag. And I'd come back and check. You know, rather than go like that, how many seats have been sold? How many tickets have been sold? I would just go buy this. And so I would come back and go, oh, I think some of the tickets have been sold in here. How? How? Because I remember it was on a stand. So it was like it was like a, the ornament at the front of a jag looking to the right, and it was like on a wee you know a, a stand to keep it up. But now the tickets have been sold. You know I'd remember things like that. Checking it fucking out, and it's like no, it's still no fucking sold. Horrific. Phil thinks the sub. I'm glad to hear it. Good luck with being fucking sober. Zeno thinks the sub. Any possibility of a Mr. Lips and what? There's no point, really. I don't really do it a lot. Wasted, wasted slot. 
Goof and Nelvis since the sub. Fuck this, get boom, boom, let's go back to my room one. Um, now, this, that isn't a... Actually, I actually was about to put that on. Plog since the subs. That's right, stay in the present. Egg Renaissance, K-Scale, Mag, Magician, Cathar thinks the subs. Good luck being a dad for the first time. Bumble Flying Shake, Molly, Jay Groves. Thank you very much. Jaguar. Moral Snot, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. It was a bit fucking hot in here. Um. No, I, I, I just, I, I just feel that I need to point out that I'm no, I'm not like looking at that Barbie film and it's gone like a lot of shit. Barbie, fuck off. I'm not like that. I just feel the. I don't know what I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know what it's going to be like. I'll watch it. I will watch it. But um, it's got a kind of. I don't know if it's because I like seeing Ken come out there and he's doing that wee dance. I preferred fucking Barbie and Ken in uh, Toy Story. Toy Story 3. Um, I don't know if it's... Like... I don't know if I'm meant to be like, ha ha ha. Look, what, what do you may call it, Stan? Um, what's his name? What's his name? Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Look how Ryan Gosling looks and look how he's coming out looking all serious but doing that dance. I'm just looking at wee clips out of context. I'm sure if I watched the whole lot, I would be mad in it. I'm not just going like, But um, it's got a Ben Stiller feel to it. The clips that I've seen, it's got a Ben Stiller feel to it. The way things are said. What I'm meant to find funny about it. And something about Ben Stiller does my fucking... No, no, no. See, and I said this about Severance. I liked Severance, the teleseries Severance. But see the things that I didn't like about it? It's because it reminded me of Ben Stiller and he directed it. See, especially that dancing bit, when they're dancing to that music and the names of the music, the, the, the names of the songs... really fucking irritated me and the comedy bits the fuck wait a minute let's see if I can fucking shoot it severance uh, bastard what, what, what's the kind of boss called bastard I'm not going to be able to find it. I'm not going to be able to find it. I, I keep talking about it, but I've mentioned this a few times, but there's a bit where he goes and kind of speaks to the boss and she's very kind of cold and boss-like or something like that, and he's kind of like a bit intimidated by her. And I think he goes to the, to, to the door, like to leave and... He's like, do you, do you want the door left open? I think the door was open when he came in. Shut the door or, or, or open it. Or keep it open. It's something like that. And I think, I can't remember, but she's maybe something like that. Or she says something like, it's up to you. Or something like that. And he's like, oh, I'll just close it. No, no. You know, like that. And it's all a bit, Awkward, you know, like um, name music, you know, it's just like awkward, and I'm just oh, fuck off. I'm meant to be laughing here, and I'm no get on with it. So, um, I don't, I don't like stuff like that. I, it just feels fucking dated. And why, why does it feel dated? Why does something like that feel dated to me? 
Have I got a limit? Have I got, like, I've got, if I see so many hours of this kind of joke done, I hit a number, like, nine hours in a certain amount of time, like, uh, uh, within a year, and that's it fucked for me. Never show me that kind of humour ever again. It, you may as well be repeating the same joke. You may as well be repeating a joke that was funny the first time, but after that, that's it, that's it fucked. For example, this joke. Did you hear the one about the lonely prisoner? He was in his cell. Here's a joke for you. Did you hear the one about the lonely prisoner? He was in his cell. See, it's not as funny the second time into it, Call Kerry and Joel. Thanks for the subs. Not sure if you've seen it, but I watched Still a Black the other night boxing and Sigmund Eye the Tiger. Thought it was right up your alley. Sounds good. I'll check it out. Natio. Josh thinks the subs. Uh, uh, good luck getting some Taylor Swift tickets in for Edinburgh. Cardon thinks the sub. When's the Discord coming back? Fucking never. Robbie thinks the sub. Favourite bit of the Evil Dead films? Um, not as bit please the original. Um, I love the bit where she sits up, where he's looking at her, uh, looking at her, uh, at her ankle. I, I go, diddly, 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 and then she sits up. I remember that was a clip they showed in fucking daytime telly when I was in maybe primary school. And I'd recorded it and I watched it again and again and again. I fucking loved it. It's scary. It's, it's fucking creepy. No any more though, but... Evil Dead... I, what's it kind of, it's like, Evil Dead, Bed? Pfft, it's got this Evil Dead Rise shite. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to see it. I know I'm not going to see it. Nah, it's not got it. Possessed. I'm having to I'm having to kind of search for it off. Nah. Nah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. No. There's nothing here. Right, Wonka. Oh, fuck this cunt. I'm, I'm, I'm alright with him. I, I'm alright with him. It's just... He's somebody that I saw everywhere for about three years before I ever actually watched him in something. I look at these different websites. I've, I've got the same thumbnail, but they've went like that. Let's, let's boost the contrast. He's all right in June. I, I've got no reason to uh, dislike him or anything. I don't dislike him. It's just I kept fucking seeing him, like posters and things like that, promoting stuff before I'd even watched a single film. It's just a kind of grumpy old uh, guy um, reaction to seeing what's this fucking young shite. I've spent... It's been day, everybody. The past seven years traveling the world. I've spent the past seven years traveling the world perfecting my craft. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that. Reverse it. Mr. Wonker, I can see you're a man of great ingenuity. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. Many people have come here to sell chocolate. They've all been crushed by the chocolate cartel. You can't get a shop without selling chocolate, and you can't sell chocolate without a shop. No daydreaming. What are we gonna do, Willie? Huh. Huh? Huh. 
a double hum. Get the pencil and paper? Uh-huh. I got an idea. I know things haven't been easy for you. They're gonna get better. You promise? I pinky promise. That's the most solemn vow there is. Where do we start? A good chocolate chip is simple. Where's this? It's just weird. What's happening? Oh, that's a chocolate that makes it fly. Well, let's find out, shall we? Who's for a hover job? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just a small group of people defying the laws of gravity. Ladies and gentlemen of the gallery gourmet, my name is Willy Wonka. He's good. Too good. Pretty sure I've gained about 150 pounds. Too good. How fucking shite is that? How shite is that, man? Pretty sure I've gained about 150 pounds in the last two weeks. You could change her life, Mr. Walker. Change all their lives. Run away! Look, how did they get a real giraffe? Put a wee reflection, put a wee perfect reflection in the eye of the giraffe. Put a wee perfect, perfect reflection. The light is just at the right angle. Perfect. It looks fine. Yeah, that's... Nala says it looks fine to you and people like you. That looks absolutely fantastic. Is that a real giraffe? To me, I'm sick of it. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. Oh, fucking hell, man. Here we go, mama. Oh, fuck off. My words. This is going to be the greatest chocolate shop the world has ever seen. Promise me you'll keep making chocolate. I will, mom. You're the best chocolate maker I've ever known. So you're the funny little man who's been following me. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh. Is that all he does now? Uh, does he just always uh, play someone uh, like this? Is that all he does now? He was like this in Paddington 2, and he was like that... In what was it? Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, is that all he does now? I don't know. Lumpa. Number what now? Uh, is that all he does now? Listen. See Paddington 2? I liked Paddington 2. I thought it was nice and watchable. The kind of middle classy sort of thing irritated me. But. I liked it. This could be like that. It won't be. It must be fucking brilliant being English. Allow me to that I am a. It must be fucking excellent being English that you just get to turn up and fucking speak like that in every fucking film you're in. So you're the funny little man who's been following. I will have you know that I am a... I could just turn up and be like this and fucking... Imagine I turned up like this and every fucking thing I was in. You couldn't do it. Perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? Allow me to refresh your... Can I just say to everybody who's English, it's just a wee joke. Memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. Fuck everything, man. Kill shot. I geese at, man. Fucking geese at.
get these fucking guns and all the rest. Of it. I need that, you know, something clean. <sighs> Oppenheimer, I fucking geese that and. Oh, Jesus, I needed that. Oh, okay, I needed that, man. The television. He really is an immense talent. In the morning. No need this. When the moon is at its rest, you will find me at the time I love the best building castles in a shifting sand in a world that no one understands. It is the morning. It is the morning of my life This is the dawning of my life It is the morning of my life You can't even look at that ramble bit there And then Joe Longthorn there and tell me that we are the most interesting, unique species in this whole fucking universe. There is nothing out there. No fucking species, no life form out there. No, the fucking other end of this fucking universe that can create things like Rambo and that, and Joe Longthorn singing that, and we, and we sit there and enjoy it. There's nothing out there that makes stuff like that. Nothing. This tripe again, it's no fucking tripe. And, and, and shite like Wonka. Nothing out there that, that, that would have anything like that. Joe Longthorn and Rambo shooting up the computers and things like that. Nothing. And there will be nothing like us ever again. Long after we'd gone, nothing like us ever again. That's my opinion. That's my belief. Based on no evidence. This is a fucking freak, freak accident. What a wonderful, what a wonderful thing we've got here. Peyton Erdin Healy, got a mofo, calm. Thanks for subs. Lemme, you're already massive, no need for the gym. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about that. That there, I don't even do the fucking, I don't even do the, the pull-ups anymore, the chin-ups, I don't do that. You know how, you know how my arms are like that? They just are. My belly's fucked. It's called a dad bod. It's called a dad bod. Cam went and Hennessy he thinks of subs in three quid. That Wonka trailer made me feel depressed. Don't, don't. You're depressed because you think, what's wrong with me? That sort of, I was meant to like that and I don't. That looked like it was that like everybody likes it and I don't. What's wrong with me? You're fucking right. Everybody else should be depressed for fucking making that. They should be lying on their, everybody involved in making that should be lying on their couch for a fortnight. Not having the energy to fucking move. Just like that, I just don't see that, I just don't. I mean, what a waste of our fucking time. What a waste of our fucking time. To make something like that. The amount of money and the effort that went into making something like that. And for what? Nacon is going to say in like five years or whatever, or after they fucking come out. That's, I really liked that. That was really good, that. Let's watch that again. That was really good. Nacon. Nacon.
I suppose it tides you till something good. I'll tell you, I fucking may as well go and see it. Just sit there like that. Popcorn. Mm. Did you like it? How how bad do you feel when you say you liked something when you didn't? I mean, when you like yourself. There's films I've came out for watching or just watched and I go, uh, what do you think of that? And I go, ah, it was all right. I kind of liked it. It was all right. And then I think, was it fuck all right? And I just have a kind of, like, not, wasn't it? You know, you lower your standards. You lower your standards and like, ah, maybe it's just me. Ah, it was all right. I think, was it? No, wasn't it? Nice one, Scruffy. Be true to yourself and others. Can I just say, Scruffy, you are smashing it on threads with your motivational quotes. I think you've got to be helping a lot of people out there achieve their goals. Natio and Joel, thanks for subs. Thanks again. Cord Kerry. Happy Dondra. Gary, thanks for subs and bits. Leah, congrats on your job as a teacher. Any discipline tips you could share? Discipline. Me? Knowing how to, like, keep a wane in order? No, I'm the wrong guy. Amy thinks of the bits. Evil Dead game. Uh, I've heard it's kind of alright, but I can't. Nah, nah no for me. Boggle and Super Nun Man thinks of subs. Mr. D. Hennessy. Got a mofo. AJ Yarney, Jacko and F and thinks of subs in three quid. No cunt will remember. Let me show your mail. That's where you're fucking rang. Yesterday, I went for a... Was it yesterday? Yesterday. Went for a wee walk simply to uh, go to this pub and get a wee... What did I have? A cappuccino. Just, just to get me out of the house. And on my way there, um, a guy went by on a motor passenger side... On the right, on a roundabout, shouting, "Let me!" And he had the um, had his phone like that, going round the, the the roundabout like, "Let me!" I went like, "Dee!" He went and he shouted, "Dee Dee!" Just shouted, "Dee Dee!" You know, instead of catchphrase, "Dee Dee!" I went like, that. "So there'll be a video out there somewhere, TikTok or something, uh, like seeing me like that." Danigwin Epcot. Healy, thanks for subs. Chump of the week, thank you very much. Any chance of a quick basil? Ah, uh, no. No, we've, we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Let's, there's plenty more. I was thinking about this yesterday. Think about, like, see that Joe Longthorn bit there that I like. That's just one thing I stumbled upon for the first time just the other week. I already knew he sort of sang like that, but that wee bit there. What else is out there? Think of the things you like. There's at least twice the amount of that if you if you go looking for it. I'll tell you something I've really fucking given up on. Music. I really, I, I don't know when I'm next going to hear something that I really fucking like. I really don't. Don't recommend anything. Don't recommend anything. And I don't, I don't know if it's just a wee trick in my mind, right? But I think if I was to hear that now, and that's not even that old. It is a bit, well, fucking 30 years fucking old or something. I don't know. But, um. I mean something like that. Don't recommend anything. There's no point. There's no fucking point. Um, if I was to hear something like that now, I'm, I'm looking for like new stuff, but it's something not quite right with it. I'll know it when I fucking hear it. I'll know it when I hear it, but I'll tell you what I do love. I love encountering old fucking eight stuff. See when I was in, uh, in Spain. Oh, three new clips. Hold on. I was lucky, I was 
I've just, I've just seen if I can in, induce uh, madness in you. I'm just, I'm just trying to see if I can induce madness in you. I know I can do it. Drug free. Drug free madness. Tal and Robbie thinks the subs and bits. Get the Osmond boys on. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, please, can you ban me for a month? This isn't a joke. I want to experience pain. Thank you. 07 or 07. Or maybe it's a nose or something. Remember me, chat. I don't see a Robbie audit there in the chat, so 0707, what is it? I don't know, what does it mean? What does it mean? Is it a emoji of some kind? A salute? What is it meant to be like that? A far right dog whistle. All oh, right, right, I see. Millbag Ludders, Mikey, Chump. Thanks again. Are you able to do those dance moves? No. But I've not seen. I've not seen. Uh, so, so see that uh, Barbie. See if Barbie was like that. If I was sitting like that, oh, I could just not into this kind of humour. And uh, see if they did that for like a fucking ten minutes solid. And I'm not talking about fucking five minutes, six, a good fucking, like, nine minutes that was, I think. But about eight and a half minutes, if you exclude the, 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 the series by the end. And fucking committed to it for nine minutes. I'd be like, ah, oh, this is good. No, this is fucking good. But they wouldn't. They wouldn't. New Barbie Ken clip is good. Right, so. Why stop at nine minutes? It just went on and on. And I was sitting there. Sitting there in my flat watching it. I think I had the fucking lights off. I think it was night time. And this colour. Or this colour and dance and music. Coming for the fucking telly. That I'd never seen in any other film or programme before. That's what I fucking loved about it. I'm supposed to then look at this and go, ah ha ha ha! Fuck off! I know, I know this isn't meant to be like fuck the film fucking Om Shanty Om. I know it's not like, oh, this isn't like the thing I just watched on YouTube. That means it's failed. I don't mean like that. What am I, what am I meant to do? I know I'm watching a clip out of context. It's just about a dance. And I kind of just watch a clip of somebody dancing in a film and go, I didn't like that four seconds of dancing. Pish. Shite film. The Barbie movie wasn't made with 50-year-old men in mind. Let me just fucking say something. I'm more youthful and passionate about fucking life than any of you cunts. That's why I fucking care. See, if I wasn't, you know what I'd be doing? I'd be sitting here looking at it going like this, look. Ah, oh, that looks all right, that. Ah, oh, that looks nice, that. That looks good, that. I am fucking desperate for stuff that makes me feel the way I felt when I watched that, that, um, Om Shanty Om, Om clip there. Desperate. I don't take stuff anymore. I don't drink anymore. I don't do anything like that anymore. I barely fucking I barely really go anywhere. I don't go to my group of fucking 20 pals. Oh, what a laugh we had. And we're running down the street smashing fucking windies. It was some laugh. I mean, it wasn't right. It was vandalism. But what a fucking laugh we had. I don't do anything, anything like that. I need these fucking things. I need them to be brilliant. And they're no. I'm fucking younger than a lot of you cunts. I 
Al Alamo and Chips Small Fry Tal. Thanks for subs. I can't watch any, any more of this silly woman. Was that a meltdown? Dude, I'll fucking, I'd, I'd love, I love being rattled. I love it. Right, go. What can I do you for? I just had to come see you about my feet. They're, um... Flat. Yeah. Never seen that before. Really? Look. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life and forget any of this ever happened. Or you can know the truth about the universe. The first one. The high heel. No. We'll do a redo. You're supposed to want to know. Get in! Now! Get in now! Come on! Here. You're like an idea, a great idea. I've got to, I've got to stop watching clips because, because I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking judge it by that. That's just a bit of just her jumping in a motor. I'm not gonna go like that. That didn't, that didn't blow my, uh, that didn't knock my socks off. Just a bit. She just ran out of building. I don't know why they had a clip of that. I don't know why they showed a the clip of that. Any clips you can show us? You might like this one. We're going to release this clip to the public. I don't know. I just I need, I need stuff to take the place of 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 booze and drugs and uh, and being evil, which is also uh, something that gives me a buzz. Was that? Bill Al was up for a part in Barbie but didn't get the role. Ted said it was his grudge. He's, he's him and it's ugly to see what's happened between him and Bill Al. Wait a minute. Bill Al. Hate the guy says 10.30. Horrible to see what's happened between the two of them. Any opportunity to go like that. By the way, I uh, was meant to be in that, but didn't get it. <laughs> I got it now, didn't get it. <laughs> hey, where am I? Right, right, so, um, uh, Scylla. What was she? I just want to see her, uh, like, back in, like, in the kind of original. <gasps> 88. Aye. 81. I could fucking listen to that audio. Just sit there. Just get that on. Get on and just sit there like that. Rick Rack, Small Bear, and Claire, One Tree Hill. Thanks for subs. Right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, just leave it. Leave it! Right, um, s uh, surprise, surprise. Right, so we've seen that. 
<laughs> there's, no, there's only about fucking, there's only about like five fucking episodes. Now, we can't watch any of this. Wait a minute. TV. We, we watched that. Wait a minute. I thought TV Gold had the shite ones. Because that's fucking, that's Basil. Oh. Right. All right. We've seen no, no. We might have seen no, no. We've seen we've seen her uh, with the shoe thing and Joe Pasquale and all the rest of it. Let's get it done, right? Let's get it done. Let's get it done, right? Right, we're ready. Full Basil. Uh, I, I don't... Sorry about that. Look at that. This is behind the fucking scenes. Series 12, show 9. This is behind the scenes. Well, it's not really behind the scenes. This is... Um... I know... Sto I know. How the fuck to get a hold of these masters? Hi there, I'm a journalist, and we're looking for just a clip from that, could we, and then just upload it. Somebody got a cheeky wee bit of money put in their pocket to look the other way. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Five, four, three, two, one... How's the volume not too loud? Yes, man. Sunday fucking night. Is this a Basil episode? Um, I don't think it is. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Scylla. Miss Boyles. Aww. They say you treated people like shite, Scylla. Why did you treat people like shite? What was the purpose? What was the purpose? What? Oh, it is you. Indeed, it is you. What was the purpose? Thank you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to another super show Shilla. packed with Shilla. surprises. What? 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 Shilla. What? Shilla. Joe Pasquale. Now we can skip past this. Say, Joe, you look absolutely wonderful, but it's a bit early yet for the pantomime season, Joe. I look a bit of a stud monkey tonight, don't I, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, a stud monkey. Or a stud muffin, whatever one you want to <laughs> I'm just a stud monkey for your love. Listen, I'm a little bit... I'm not early. See these cunts that Dave Pant was by the way, the fucking... The amount of fucking money they get by the way. See if you ever see something in a panto and you go, oh, things aren't going too well for them. They're in a panto now. They're earning more money than every cunt on the tellies. Have I ever been asked? I don't think so. They'll be earning fucking all a grand a show. Drew, thanks to sub. Shout out to the Lothkers, the backbone of this community. I disagree. Jeeves, Rick Rack, Small Bear, thank you very much. Claire, One Tree Hill, thanks for subs, thanks again. I'm not early, I'm late, I'm oh. late. That's oh. what, because I've been looking since December for my Cinderella and oh. I can't find her so I've got to try. Right, listen, <laughs> we can skip past this because we've actually watched this because I kept seeing uh, the, the lassie on this and the thumbnail again and again. I thought, what is this? So basically, it's a, it's a lassie who has got 
longer or larger than normal feet. I don't know, size nine or something like that. Fuck knows. And um, so he goes like that, right? So I've got to try and find somebody. Does his wee thing goes up, right? Right, yep, yep. Very funny, very funny, very funny, very funny, very funny. Yep, yep, yep. Goes to her. Uh, she's got their boots. Next, 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 that's it. Well, now I... It's just to get the ball rolling, everybody. It's a wee fun one. It's irreverent. 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 There's no A's in irreverent. Irreverent. Showing a lack of respect for people or things that are generally taken seriously. Um... All right, that's no that's not the best word actually. Petros and Ollie thinks the subs in three quid. A reminder of the monster you become when playing games with people, as requested by you. And then it's a link. Um, it's a a link to a video. I don't I don't remember asking for that. What is it? It's me playing games against people. I don't want to play that. I don't want to play that. So that's three quid there. Do you see what's happened, everybody? Because I loosened my iron grip on Cammy's Law slightly. Listen to it like that. That much. No, they're getting all the wasting three quid. It's not a complete waste, all that's gone in my fucking pocket and it will be used. Um, on saying, here's a wee reminder of what you were like when you're playing games. And by the way, it was you that requested it possibly a week ago or two weeks. I can't remember what the fuck it was I said. And I'm, I've decided I don't want to play that right now. So all of there have gone like that. I just gave you fucking three quid to play a fucking video. Play it. Play it. And I'm no. So. So remember, please don't give me a tip or bits or anything like that and say, check this video. Out. No, it's one of you though. Or anything like that because I've only played it. I've only played it. I just don't want anybody to be upset. All right. Jordan, beneath the headphones, thanks to subs and gifts, subs, thank you very much. Arch, thanks to the bits. What did I miss? Um, no much, I was just getting started, Jordan. Stellar Entertainment, thank you very much. Cannibal3, thanks to sub. What's the longest you've gone without changing your jocks or your underwear or whatever you call them? Um, without changing them? Maybe teenage years or early 20s or something. Um, I might not have gave a fuck that much, I don't know. For quite a long time, actually, my teenage years, for about the age of 15 to about the age of... Uh, early 20s, I didn't wear pants, I didn't wear underwear. So fuck knows what I must have looked like being able to see my my uh, my bell end kind of shape. Comfy Goose and Drew Scrappy Gecko thinks the subs. Some stink on the land, but uh, uh, lad, but remember I'm I'm quite clean. You're thinking Christ. Then whatever trousers you were wearing, whatever must be stinking. I'm quite clean compared to the rest of you. Your phone 
call coming on and not far from here is Dennis Killen. Now he's hanging about in a hotel lobby with his wife Hazel and sisters Patsy and Rita. And yes, there they are now. Now he thinks he's the, you know, just for a night out. But I'm going to... Just dodgy as fuck this. Mad fucking cock shot. There they are now. Where's the, where's the, where's the fucking camera? And the... And the, the flowers? He thinks he's the... Aye. Aye, so it must be the, in there. Uh, you know, just for a night out. But I'm going to phone him and give him a night to remember. Let's get dialing. Oh, easy peasy. We know you're not doing it, because we saw you in another episode pressing the buttons without looking, and you did it like that. It wasn't like, if you're pressing, imagine the number's got to be, uh, there's like, one, one, one. You can sort of like press one, look down at the rest of the number, and then sort of press one, because you know where your finger is. You know where your finger, no, she was like that. So we know this isn't happening, so... We know. Ringing out. Good evening, the Burnett Hotel, London. Oh, wonderful. Hello. Can I speak to Mr. Dennis Killen, please? He's sitting in your lobby. Right, I'll just go and have a look. <laughs> She's gone to have a look. Why did you treat people like shite, Silla? Why? Every time I see her being kind of like down to earth and nice, I think about these stories. Why do you, says Nova Primate, Angus says, same reasons as you. It's always the same people. It's these same, same names that pop up in the chat that say the same pish fucking part. It's always the same. Cunts have been at it for like more than a year. Aye, that's right, Lanky, the troublemakers... One of my most observant mods is Lanky. I don't treat I don't treat people like shit. I'll tell you what happens though. People treat me like shit. They take me for an absolute right. <laughs> I love going on a wee fucking rant as if I've been thinking about stuff for like a month now and it's irrelevant to what it is I'm talking about right now. I treat people like, I don't treat people like shite. People treat me like shite. They take me for a ride. They don't give me money back when they say they were gone. Like stuff like that. What? What's this? What's he on about? Is it that a family thing? What the fuck is he talking about? They, do, they don't... They, 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 they don't give me back the lawnmower when they say they were gone. Cr Crowley and Jonesy. Scrappy. Gecko. Thanks for the subs. Oh, there she is. Oh, look, gone straight to. I have a phone call. Can I ask you to pick up the receiver, please? Hello? Right, so that's a set up right away. Can I ask you to pick up the receiver, please? Obviously, they fucking know there's a camera there. Right, here we go. Place your bets, everybody. No, a literal bet. How much does he know? Right, you sit there. Well, no, I want to sit there. No, no, you've got to sit there. What? Just sit there, John. Hello. Hello. Is that you, Dennis Killing? I can't hear. You're not speaking loudly enough. <laughs> is that you, is Dennis Killing? Dennis Killing. Yes, it's. It is I. It is I. Well, it is I. <laughs> Still a black from surprise, surprise. Oh, you come on, you silly son. <laughs> And that's it, that's the camera in now. There's the lights on them now, look. You silly sod. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I've been called some things in my life. But I've never been called that before. Yeah, I'm just a problem. 
of lo losing my voice. She says it's Scylla Black on surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> That's right, Dennis. It is me, Scylla. Oh, if you look at that TV screen over there, you'll see me. Oh. Hello, Dennis. I've got a cameraman standing there holding a camera. There's obviously extra lights put in now because it's brighter. And I'm, I'm here now, it's uh, Scylla Black for Scylla. That's kind of be right. Hi, 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 cameraman. Hi, lighting person. Hi, person with the microphone. How's it going? Aye, so what's this about? <sighs> can it be Scylla Black? This must be a wind up. That's Scylla Black. What are you doing over there? <laughs> well, because I'm here at the surprise studio. Now, Dennis, I want to have a chat with you, love. Accomplished liar. We How, are you, all... How are you doing? You all right, Wack? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I can see you're very well. Now, I've, all, I've heard. It's your... Now, first of all, love, can you move the... Can you move the phone to the other side, love? Because you see, we're getting that across the, f the face there, across your... Patsy, you've got to blame for this, you know. Oh, my God, I knew. <laughs> I knew there'd be... I knew there'd be something somewhere. <laughs> your lovely Patsy... Fucking wrecked. I knew... I knew... I knew there'd be something somewhere. <laughs> Patsy there wrote and told me all about you. I've heard that you blow... You, other people blow their own trumpet, but you blow a different kind of instrument, don't you? Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about you and your tuba. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hear from your Patsy, you take your tuba just about everywhere with you. Well, uh, unfortunately, I don't have it at the moment, so there's nothing I can do for you. Well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> We've got your tuba right here in the studio. Right, well, I'm not in the studio, so you fucked it. What have you done to me, Patsy? <laughs> <laughs> your Patsy sitting Patsy. next to you has told me everything about you. She says it's always been your wish to hold a world festival of tuba players in your village of Kingswear. Well, Is that right? One of these days I'm going to organise the Kingswear International Tuba Festival. Just yes or no? Correct. Well, we can help you with that. Okay. We can make that wish come true. Oh, my but surprise, God. surprise, Dennis, it's not going to be in your village. Oh. It's going to be right here in the studio tonight. Oh, dear. <laughs> well... That isn't what I wanted then. Uh, let me just double check. One of these days. Festival of tuba. She says it's always been your wish to hold a world festival of tuba players in your village of Kingsmere. Right. Right, it's got to be in his wish as to have that in his village, right? That's his wish. In the village. She said it. Is that right? One of these days, I'm going to organise the Kingswear International Tuba Festival. Right, Kingswear, like, so, like, the people come, you know, like the Edinburgh Fringe, they come to that to help support the village. That's correct. Tourism, etc. People staying in hotels, people three times, five times the amount of people in restaurants and stuff like that. And gen a general increase in morale. Things like that. The sort of stuff you would see in city skylines or... Or Sim City. In real life. Well, we can help you with that. Plus, he gets a power trip there. Cadaveris, Tuna Sweet Con, High Marshall, Un Monkey, and Crowley thinks of subs. Thank you very much. And he gets to say, I did this. I organised this. No, it's it's uh, Salah who did it. Or the producers, or uh, Patsy. We can make that wish come true. Oh but surprise, God. surprise, Dennis, it's not going to be in your village. Oh. It's going to be right here in the studio tonight. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's a problem because that's not going to bring tourism in. <laughs> because I tell you what we've got, who we've got. We've got the famous Herbie Flowers. Wow. <laughs> You're a big fan of his, aren't you? Well, I, I've heard of him, and I know he's a fantastic player. Yes, oh, well, you... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is, aren't you? Miss Herbie Flowers. Wow. <laughs> You're a big fan of his, aren't you? Well, I, I've heard of him, and I know he's a fantastic player. Yeah. I've heard of him, and I know he's a fantastic player. 
that's like saying, um, I don't know, who's a good guitar player that I don't give a fuck about? Um, who's the cunt for Led Zeppelin? Jimmy Page. Well, I've heard of him, and I know he's a fantastic player. I personally don't like him. I don't like that whole thing. I'm not a fan. I'm not actually that... This is just a kind of a, a joke about the tuba thing. I didn't really mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm kind of going off it. I've got a sinking feeling right now. You know when you were into something and you feel it go? Yes, oh well, you're going to meet him tonight and you're going to meet seven other famous... You know, like a wank, you kind of be arse finishing. You know, when you, you kind of lose heart. Three quarters of the way through a wank. Tuba players. Oh my God. <laughs> In fact, they're all tuning up now and they're waiting for you to join them. Uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, it isn't ridiculous. It's wonderful. So I tell you what, we've got a very fast car waiting outside that hotel there, you know. I wish you'd never uh, drunk that glass of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I must stop. I got a fast car. Tell there, you know. I wish you'd never drunk that glass of champagne. <laughs> Many more after the show. No, so get yourself over here. Sella speaking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in Sella's corner with this one. Many more after the show. No, so get yourself person. over here. Dennis. Stop fucking talking, mate. Ha 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 all right, John. See you later. Tira then. Tira whack. Tira then. I think they're funny. I think they're funny. I can just imagine sitting on that cunt and him just like saying we taking a piss at uh, the accent or Scottish things or oh you'd be uh, that'd be right up your street with uh, uh, whiskey, uh, alcohol. Uh, uh, because you, oh, you must like all the sponges. Uh, yes, she says about swimming in Spain. Did you go uh, deep enough in the water when you were in the sea to see sponges, natural sea sponges? Because you jocks are sponges, aren't you? And don't try to say we sponge your oil because you don't want the oil now, do you? over to Maidstone to surprise police sergeant Sam. That's good. So we've got a lot of things on the go. We're not going to be seeing um, the lassie with the, the, the big feet again. She's gone. Like, these shoes are getting made somewhere else at another time. We're coming back for the tuba, though. I'm an Elgar. Now, not only is Missed that... Missed that. I play spin. Popped over to Maidstone to surprise police sergeant Simon Elgar. Maidstone Ken. Now, not only is Simon a model police sergeant, but he's also a sergeant who collects model police cars. A model police sergeant with abuse of power, that kind of thing. But I found out on the day that our Simon should have been christened Morris. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Simon! <laughs> How you come? <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. Now, I hear you're very big on dinkies, Simon. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, you could say. Because your wife wrote and told me all about you, your gorgeous yeah. wife, Janet. <laughs> 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 she says that you've got a wonderful collection of dinkies. Is that right? Yeah. Of yeah. what? <laughs> well, I've come all the way down from London to see your dinkies. Well, best you come in and have a look, then. Oh, <laughs> What hospitality we have in Kent. Is this what we toys or something? Dinky. Oh, see now, Simon. A dinky. Is that like a kind of wee thing? Is that the brand name? I'm Dinky Do. Is that an actual brand? And this is it. And <laughs> look, the little policeman up there. My goodness, it looks exactly like you, Simon. You're not the image, it's the nose that gives it away. <laughs> this is it. How long have you been collecting? I'm not in that yellow. There's something a wee bit too light about the yellow. I 
don't know. I, I'm not just talking about this here. I'm not talking about that, but at the side. It just seems like... Like, I prefer... This yellow. Prince another... Uh -huh. Could be the same suit. He's dinkies. It started off as a bit of a joke, really. Um, my in-laws gave me one of them as a Christmas present. Yeah. And it sort of snowballed from there. Is it true, Simon, that you did ask your dad-in-law to find you a certain type of dinky at a crap fur? Quite possibly, yeah. You did? There's probably one or two that I've managed to get hold of. Well, I know there's one particular one that you haven't managed to get hold of. And surprise, surprise, I managed to get that one because it's a super little dinky mini you haven't got. So you can add that to your collection. <laughs> of the Thank you very much. Right, I shall make space for that one. Well, you can put it next to your little dinky Morris. Where's that one? Was oh, that it? Dinky Morris. Well, there's a little Morris down here. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Should go there, shall we? Simon, as a Bobby, you mm. are a bit, a bit of a Morris fan, aren't you? Um, well, I've got two of them. You've got two? And, yeah. you, and you've got a big one. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody gets it and everybody gets it he gets it she gets it everybody's laughing <laughs> it sounds like she's talking about and you've got a big penis you've got two and, you, and you've got a big one <laughs> two big ones. let's go and have a look at you everybody pissing themselves because it sounds like she's saying You've got a big penis, which is done here, by the way. It's normally kind of covered up in general society. That's what makes it kind of funny. That's what makes it kind of funny. It's also used for, like, sex and things like that. Fat boy, thanks for sub. Glad you like it. Best stream on Twitch. Thank you very much. I'll be tired of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, you the like, way. it wouldn't be a big deal if we all walked about with uh, cock suit and things like that. But we don't, so it makes it a wee bit funny. But it was a different sort of Morris we were talking about. Yes, wonderful. And I know why you're <laughs> applauding, Simon. Oh, yeah. Because Janet tells me when you go to these crap birds looking for these dinky toys, you always look in wonderment at the Morris dancers. And you always have this burning desire to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, Simon, I've got to say. <laughs> what can I say, Simon? Something nice. Something nice. The right evil, wait, uh, isn't it? I never used to think that, and then when you see things like, I don't know, Midsummer and The Wicker Man and all the rest of it. Absolutely, look, absolutely. You just think, you can just picture somebody getting burnt to death as they do it. They're dancing around somebody getting burnt at the stake or um, pulled apart. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Do you feel comfortable in that outfit? I feel unnatural. You feel... <laughs> What do you think that your mates of the Maidstone? I dread to think. You dread to think? I think there's going to be a bit of ribbing. A bit of ribbing? A bit of gentle ribbing, I think. Me thinks. Well, I think we can find out now, actually. <laughs> yes, but surprise, surprise, there's all your chums from Maidstone <laughs> constabulary in. Look, look there, look, you're terrified. Well, boys in blue. How are they? So they actually were in blue? I forgot that. The, the uniform with the jackets blue. Are you still looking forward to oh, this, yes. Simon? <laughs> oh, and, you kept, and you kept quiet. <laughs> well, let's see Simon strut his stuff. Come on, lads and lady. <laughs> lady, hear me tonight.
Like, you can just imagine this is meant to represent an erection. You know, like in the Wicker Man, the maypole. This is to represent, like, an erection, fertility and all that. Who's the cunt with a bowler hat? Who was that? Who's this cunt? Like, observing? Like he's a referee? Look, it's got a wee white thing as if it's um, the Mad Hatter with the... You know, the, the sort of price sort of label. It's no funny. He'll remember this. Know him, the, the, the victim. And there'll be the the Morris Dancer guy, Simon, whatever his name is, and him will be out on the beat. And they'll be walking about and there'll be like a a, a burglar or something and the burglar will pull out a knife. And Simon will have the opportunity to save his life. And won't they save him? <laughs> or, or he himself might stab him. Stab him right in the neck. You know that like the the imagine the uh, they the investigate somebody breaking in to some building and it's like some sort of burglar or something, and he pulls at a knife, and then he, sh he actually sh shites it, drops the knife and runs away, or maybe there's a struggle, drops the knife and manages to get away, and then Simon here actually stabs his colleague in the neck, and then and then uh, tells everybody, I, the the robber uh, stabbed him in the neck and got away, unfortunately. Um, I forgot to phone uh, to call it in due to stress. <laughs> All of them, one by one. Yes, we were out investigating um, that call in we had at the cliff, and he just jumped off. I he said to me that he fancied he was away out for a drive. He wanted to go for a drive with his, um, with the brake, um, you know, cables and tubes uh, cut for a laugh. Him there died of an overdose. They don't give. A they don't really care. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, aye. Uh huh. Ah, did you like that then? Aye, aye. Uh huh. Hmm. Did you really enjoy that? Aye. <laughs> I know there's a certain Newcastle supporter amongst you. I'm looking this at. This is quiet. <laughs> well, how long have you supported Newcastle? All my life. All your life. Yeah. It's a special day for you today, isn't it? It's ah, dickhead. Dickhead. You thought it was about him? No, that's just the beginning. We did that to get to you. You're going to be taken to Newcastle Football Stadium and beheaded. <laughs> you are celebrating your birthday. Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Yes, thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you never got nothing, did you? Mm. Well, surprise, surprise, you're going to get something now because you're. It's too quiet. If it's loud, they'll know it's fucking quiet. Pokeville and Cero, thanks for subs. Hope you're choking this sub, big man. Thank you very much. 
great support of Newcastle. We have made you here at Surprise Surprise a special Newcastle birthday cake. Oh, Remember, don't say what age he is. That's only for practical jokers getting their comeuppance. I'm here to present it to you. There's all that lovely sports. Who's this cunt in the background? Is this like... If I was to look up Morris dancing right now, would I see somebody dressed like that? Is he like a, a party at all? Morris dancing. Near me? No, you're all right. And a hobby horse. So there's a hobby horse thing. Right. Who's the bowler hat cunt? I'm going to search for bowler. Bowl. That's something else. Morris Danson. Bowler hat man. No. Who are the characters? The, oh, I was right. The dance procession includes six animal men bearing deer antlers. Three, fuck. Um, it's it's a ritual sort of thing you see all around the world. Pagan god. The central figure of the dance is usually an animal man varies considerably in importance. Um, the central figure Os Os is a witch doctor disguised as a horse. So it's just sort of happened all around the place. It's happened everywhere. And it says here... Fuck it's away now. Fuck it. Ah, this looks evil. Ah, this is fucking... This is midsummer, this, isn't it? I quite fancy seeing a Morris dance now. It's got after seeing uh, Midsummer, and that is how I pronounce it. It's just got a kind of evil feeling to it. Cultish. Maybe not evil, just another way of life. That's all. Just another way of life. This is how we choose to live a life. This is our ceremony. These are our ways we do it. You will be burnt. But you'll be burnt anyway. Like when you get cremated, so... Why do it when you're dead? Why not experience it when you're alive? So you're actually here for it, here for your end funeral. Would you not like to be here for your end funeral? Charm Offensive, thanks to the sub. This is a lot, a lot of fun. Sports presenter. Do you ever watch GMTV? I do. Here he is. Oh, G oh GMTV yeah. is Matt it's Lorenzo. Oh, there you go. Mind that cunt. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I'm already working oh, yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> yes, we've got another <coughs> surprise from as well, well Matt. Indeed, yeah. so uh, yes, in here I have an invitation. From those nice people at This is too quiet. To attend a home match of your choice next season. Oh, that's great. Thank well you very done. much. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, okay. Happy match for a change. <laughs> oh, oh, right, we're back. We're back. Hold on. And wasn't that a nice birthday surprise? Yes. yes, of course it was. And speaking of birthdays, I happen to know that there's somebody here in our audience tonight whose birthday was yesterday. Yes, yeah, surprise, surprise, it's you, Dave Love. <laughs> yes, hello. Come and join me on the solar sofa, Dave. Just saying, that seems a bit loud. Um, so really, is there just any surprises anymore? Yesterday. Yeah, surprise, surprise. It's you, Dave Love. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Oh, good. Right. Uh-huh. Yes. Hello. Come and join me on the 
for the sofa, Dave. Was the surprise aspect um, too hard to organise? What happened there? What happened there? Oh. Wonderful. Have a sit down. Oh, that was that. Didn't work that. Not that he worked that one. He went to the left. Wait a minute. He went to. The, she was going there. Oh, nearly. So she had to go really far to the side. Right. So he's like. He's actually like kissing. Right. She's doing a sort of earth kiss sort of thing. He's like actually slap buying right on the cheek. I did that once. I did that once with somebody. I can't remember who, but I just thought after I did it, I did that wrong. I actually kissed them, like, like right on the fucking, you know, next to the ear and everything. And he's like, oh, look, 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 bang, like right on it. You're straight on. Like that, oh, look. How did how do Italians do it? Italian men kiss greeting. How to cheek kiss? Is it is it Italian? Kind of French? European Oh this is shite this, fuck off. Ital Italian kiss greeting. How to greet people in Italy. Ciao, benvenuti a un nuovo episodio di Super Easy Italian. Oggi impariamo come salutare la gente in italiano. Ma non dimenticate che speaking. potete ottenere materiale right, per aiutarvi a capire questa puntata come trascrizioni unendovi alla nostra speaking. comunità. It's just speaking. All right. So French kiss greeting. Oh no. What's this? Oh, right, so it's got an So these are the rules of doing la bise. Step la bise? One, make eye contact. Right? Step two, take a step forward. Not too close. Okay. And not too far away. Right. Just about this distance. Step three. Put your hand on their arm or their upper shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna go with arm. And then you move in, applying your cheek to their cheek and making a little kissing noise. Now, in Paris, you start on the left and then you do two kisses. That's really important to know which because size. Yeah. Or else you get into one of these and you don't want to get into one of those. A very important thing, never really kiss the cheek. Because that's awful. It's gross. And you also have to make a kissing noise because or else it just sounds empty. So, once again, and voila. Perfect. And don't forget, practice makes perfect. Bees or not to bees? That is the question on the lips of the French. Under the government. Bees or not to bees? That is the question. Um, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Bees or. She's French. Just an assumption. Don't know. Or she's there for long enough that she knows what the custom is. And she's like, oh, look, bang. Right in. The question on the lips of the French. Let me see, let me see this. Be, 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 bees or not to bees? That is the They're doing a big cuddle though. The they know each other. French. Under the government's health guidelines, the practice of saying hello. Right, 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 right. Customs in the full time a health crisis is into. I see that. Oh, <gasps> it's it's not the first time a health crisis has interfered with this most fundamental of French customs. In the 14th century, the greeting kiss almost disappeared because of the plague. But 700 years in the 14th See? century, the greeting kiss almost disappeared. Right. So where is the... Where is the... Yes, you put an arm here and you put an arm there and... Where's all that then? Yes, you put an arm here and an arm there. Absolute fucking box. I bet you any money there's videos someday for Glasgow 
or somebody from just Scotland in general going, when you're in Scotland or when you're in Glasgow, this is how we greet each other. So what you do is you say, all right, or you can say, hiya, but we never say hello. Hello is a bit, no offence, English. We never say hello. We say, hiya, which is a Scottish word. One of the ones, we say hiya, which is a Scottish word. Every cunt like that. A hiya is Scottish, is it? Fuck. Coronation Street. Aya. Aya, Chuck. Hey, how you doing? You're... We, we say, All right, by the way, how's it going, man? It appeared because of the plague. But 700 years later, it appears set to survive a pandemic once again. What is it with you? Uh, wait, wait, right. What's he fucking doing? Look. Hold in his pocket there, right? Because of the plague. Right. But 700 years later, it appears set. And here again. Look, he's, got, he's uh, carrying a pint. To survive a pandemic once again. I mean, I've done that before. I've done that, but it's when I've got a fucking hard on. And I'm trying to kind of pull it to the side so it can of be seen when I'm out and about. But it never works. Like you kind of pull it, um, you know, you sort of... Like, if you're, if you're walking about, if you've got sort of kind of like a short t-shirt, or basically, you've got a hard-on or a semi that you just happen to get as you're out and about, what do you do? What do you do? Now, I'm not talking about a hard-on that's long enough that it comes all the way across to my pocket, and I can just simply do that, and there it is. But, you know, I can kind of pull it to the, the side a bit. Um... And then sort of, you know, how do you hide it? How do you hide it? Tuck it under your belt. What's that called again? Um, waistband in it. Is that what it's called? Punch it down. Well, it depends what kind of hard-on you've got. If you've got one of these kind of soft sort of ones. Personally, mine's brick hard. Brick hard. There's, there's no bend in it underneath. Brick, absolute brick hard. Rock, rock solid. It's like a... It's like a... A can of Coke. Is it, is it TOS? It is the TOS because I've got a warning at the start saying there is sexual talk in this and it's not for any sexual titillation. It's education. It's educational. Swedish house furniture. Relin thinks the subs. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. This is a classic happy birthday. Happy 34th. Morgan and Mike. Heed banger. Old Kyle thinks the subs. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. You need to wear different pants. Think about it. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any difference. It used to be horrible in secondary school. I used to get them all the fucking time. I'd go on the bus sit up the back or sit fucking anywhere. I rage you almost every fucking time. And you'd have to, I'd have to like untuck my shirt um, for my trousers or sort of have my bag in front of me. I'd always, I'd always um, carry the, I'd always like go, you know, have a reason to go, oh, I've got to sort of carry my bag off the bus in front of me for some reason. I'd always like unzip it and go, you know, walk off like that kind of looking for something in it, you know, like that, just something in my bag, I'm just checking to see, you know, if I've maybe left it in the house, walking all the way up, like, you know, for as long as I had the fucking hard on, like that, just because if I take it away, it's a fucking hard on, so i just be, I'd have my bag in front of me like that, um, Christ, where's my hard ons all the fucking time, and, um, to tons, I think, have them in school, have them, have, have them in classes and things like that, Right, can everyone stand up now and fucking pretend you've dropped a fucking pen? Anything to delay um, 
getting up, hands in the pockets, um, pretend that there's something on your cuff, like that, you know, so you put your arm in front of you, your hard on, and sort of like that. You know, wipe your forearm like that. Just got something on my... Itchy, itchy, that's... What is that? You know, hold it in front of you, like that. What is that? God. And in swimming, when we go to swimming, horrible. Christ, imagine I got a hard on right now here in this swimming pool. That would be the worst time you have it. Hard on. That's the way it worked. Thinking it gave us it. And I had to uh, tell myself, I don't think you know just how bad this would be if you had to get out right now. And we're not talking about like trunks. Um, you know, kind of shorts, baggy sort of shorts with a net and thing. You're talking about a lot of times had fucking trunk trunks like speedo types. There's nowhere to hide. Right, everyone. So everyone, get out and and you're like, empty the mind. I can feel it going away. Don't think about it though. I'll bring it back. And just, and just horror. Horror would sometimes help. I'd, I'd go like that. You don't know how bad this is. You, I don't think it's really sank in. It's just how bad it would be if you get out of here with a fucking hard on. A, a semi you're going to get caught with as well. Fear would kind of take away the hard on. You know, instead of going like that, oh, who cares? Just, you're about to die socially. You're about to die. And that would sort of help. But, um, still happens. Not as much, though. Graham thinks the three quid. All right, Ta. How have you not made it big time like the other BB, uh, other big BBC stars? I'm big time. Yeah, I'm in there. Lam and N. Mokase thinks the sub. I actually walked past the pub that I went see the, the the pub I said I was in yesterday for the cappuccino. I walked past that same pub a few days ago. Um. And I heard somebody go, somebody was sitting there outside and said, oh, no, no, let me, right, and, and they, they didn't go out, let me, but I heard them saying it to the person next to him, right, ta, right, ta, because that's what I say in a sketch. And I'm like, ah, as I'm walking past. If you are uh, streaming what Dave Letterman was to talk shows, thank you very much. Lan, and uh, thanks to Sub, Hey, do you need an editor? No, thanks for your... Do you need an editor? Let me see. That's a block. Fallen since 14 seconds ago. Yeah, it's a fuck, man. I just saw somebody in the chat say, Hey, do you need an editor? Fallen since 14 seconds ago. One message. That. Well, oh, you're talking about a ritual, but you're, you're apparently not doing it properly. So will France officially bid adieu to the fist pumps and the elbows? With over 80% of the eligible population vaccinated against COVID-19. She's not got her arm, but like there's that. I mean, she's hoarding something, mind you. Bah, pendant le Covid, j'ai plus fait la bise. On a connu avant, en termes de proximité, en termes de liens. Is that the same guy? Is that the same? Th that's the same thing. Ah, he's. A, this is the whole same thing. I see. Do I give her one kiss? Oh, here we go now. The French way to say hello. 
For example, if I meet a girl that I've never met before... You're fucking English! I don't want to fucking hear for you! The French way. So, if I meet a girl... If I meet a girl... The French way to say hello. For example, if I meet a girl that I've never met before... Meet a girl that I've never met before... Uh, not by the way, sorry. I don't know what to do. Do I shake her hand? Do I give her one kiss? Do I give her two kisses? Do I give her three kisses? Do I give her four kisses? Do I give her five kisses? How many fucking kisses should I be giving you? Yeah, exactly. Get out of here. When I do my show, I ask the audience, like, by way of applause, who's done La Bise since COVID? The whole room applauds, and I just get angry at them. I'm like, hey, I haven't done, I've been out of a job for two years because of you guys. But by far, the worst thing about Abbey's is when you go out for drinks with your friends. Before you can actually drink a drink, you have to say hello to all... Fuck off, man. Right. Is it five kisses? Oh, how many fucking kisses? Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here now! And back, how the bits? Any chance of a Rambo style blam? No, the blam's at the beginning. It's the first person to ask for it at the beginning of the stream. And if you don't think anybody's asked for it yet here at 20 past 12, you got to be on crack. Hedgehog Legs and John, Johnny Gameland, thanks for subs. Sit down there. Now, Thank Dave, you very much. Is it true you celebrated your birthday yesterday? I did, sir. You did. Did you have a nice birthday? I did, yeah. Oh, very that's nice. Thank wonderful. You. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. That's wonderful. No. Because birthdays are a time. For I might you. get my hair out. Nice birthday. I did. Yeah. Oh, very that's nice. Thank wonderful. You. I might get my hair out. Because birthdays are a time to meet family and friends, aren't they? Certainly are. That's right. Aye. They certainly are. Family, friends, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's talk a wee bit about your family, though. Family history. When you were one, a rocket that was meant to go into space, taking up a satellite, came back down and hit your family right on the head. But you were taken in. Fuck is that? Okay. But I do know about you, Dave, that there's one member of your family that's never been able to spend, you know, your birthday with him. And that's your dad, isn't it? That's right, yeah, in Australia. And that's sadly 28 years ago. Yep. Your mum and dad split up and he emigrated to Australia. Good old Australia and New Zealand. And he went to Australia, didn't he? Now, why do you think he went so far away? The other side of the world. You know, why did he no move to, say, maybe Scotland? Maybe Scotland's a bit shite. If you're in London, maybe at a Cornwall or something. Or Brighton. But he's never ever forgotten you, especially on those special certain days, like six years ago, when you married your dear wife, Paula. You got to the reception, and what was waiting for you? Uh, my dad phoned me from Australia. First time I'd ever spoken to him. Really? Yeah. Well, you must have been over the moon. I was. And ever since then, he's always phoned you on your birthday. Last year, he phoned you up at five past midnight, I believe. Wait, hold on, hold on. And he's always phoned me. Yeah. Well, you must have been over the moon. I was. And ever since then, he's always phoned you on your birthday. Last year, he phoned... He's only started phoning on a birthday since... ...special certain days, like six years ago. Six, six, or... Because birthdays are a time to meet family and friends, aren't they? Certainly are. 
And, but I do know about you, Dave, that there's one member of your family that's never been able to spend, you know, your birthday with him. And that's your dad, isn't it? That's right, yeah, in Australia. And that's sadly 28 years ago. 28 years ago. Right, the da fucked off. Um, that's somebody who has made a fucking commitment to get the fuck away. Isn't it? That's not somebody who's just, right, um, we've broke up, going to start a new life. You've got your life, but, you know, obviously, we've got this shared life of the child. So, I'm not going to be that far. That's like, bye. I'm just going to go to another planet. I'm just going to reincarnate myself. Yep. Your mum and dad split up and he emigrated to Australia. But he's never ever forgotten you, especially... That's it. I'm going to go to Australia so that they can't. And back then, by the way, 95, you could probably vanish to Australia and they can't contract you down. This is, this is pre-fucking internet, pretty much. Especially on those special certain days, like six years ago, when you married your dear wife, Paula, you got to the reception. Like, so, he could never go like that. He could, he would be protected for her, like, turning up at the door one day because she just stays around the corner and saying, um, you're going to look after him now. You're going to bring him up. Our child. You're going to do it. And I'm going to fuck off and do something else in my life for a while. Can I do it? I'm in Australia, miles away. You don't even know where I am. And what was waiting for you? Uh, my dad phoned me from Australia. First time I'd ever spoken to him. Six years ago was the first time he ever spoke to his dad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What I like in your adult life or really like maybe they broke up while she was pregnant or something like that or even yeah. well you must have been over the moon I was and ever since then he's always phoned you on your birthday last year he phoned you up at five past midnight I believe yes I can't remember much about it <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, because alcohol. Entitled to enjoy drunk. yourself. And did you get a phone? It affects alcohol. Um, if you drink enough, it does a kind of brain damage. It damages your brain so much that you can't actually remember what happened if you drink enough of it. It's called alcohol abuse. And I tell you, it's fucking amazing. A call from him yesterday on your birthday? Uh, I missed it. I was, I was late coming in. You were late coming in, so you never talked to your dad on your birthday. What a shame. It doesn't matter, because shortly after he made that call, he had to hop on a plane all the way from Australia to wish you happy birthday himself. Now, you haven't seen him for 28 years, but he... It's funny for her, her to say that. Happy birthday. After he made that call, he had to hop on a plane all the way from Australia to wish you happy birthday himself. She, she normally doesn't do that. She normally does to say, so what he had today was hop on a plane to come air here and wish you happy birthday himself. It's normally, it's normally just, well, surprise, surprise, he's here tonight. You know, she, she's kind of leading up to it. She's like, so we asked him and we arranged for him to get on a flight, which he got on. And the flight came over here uh, in order to meet you here tonight. That's too much a... Uh, I lead up to it, which makes me wonder why is she not just saying, "I uh, so you've no, you know, you speak to your dad once a year." Well, surprise, surprise, you're going to be speaking to him in person tonight. She's talk. Why is she explaining that he got on a flight? Did something happen to the flight? He had to hop on a plane. What a shame! It doesn't matter because shortly after he made that call, he had to hop on a plane all the way from Australia to wish you happy birthday himself. The way she's saying that, it's as if it's something that happened like last year. Had to get on to wish a happy birthday himself. Like that. Like she's about to say something else. I but 
but as you know, um, due to some of the political turmoil that's happening um, across the world, um, the plane was, uh, it did have to sit on the, it didn't leave the runway um, unless the demands weren't made and the political, the prisoners, the terrorists were released from prison. They say freedom fighters. Um, they've got their point of view. We've got our point of view. You know, who's to say who's right and who's wrong? And they would not uh, leave, let leave unless unless the, the prisoners were, were uh, released. And there was a prisoner exchange programme. We managed to let get some of ours out of their prisons. And um, unfortunately, your dad was made an example of to show that the these uh, people did mean business, as you know. Oh, you don't know. Oh, sorry, you don't know. Right, that's right. You don't know. It's the next lot. Right. Methiglin thinks the sub. So they're actually on the tarmac. They're on the tarmac uh, in Istanbul right now. Um, the Turkish police, Turkish army are trying to take control of the plane but he has been made an example of just to show don't fuck with us or it'll be the lot of them one per hour one per hour hitting out with demands like um Then fumble about outside. Tony. He's to use the radio. See if he's lying. Do you want to open a f All right, know that. Robinson, who is this? This is Hans Gruber. I assume you realize the futility of direct action against me. We have no wish for further loss of life. I have comrades in arms around the world languishing in prison. The Americans. This is how films should be watched. Watch a film that is a recording after the telly, and then maybe another, another one, and another one. A recording of this, a recording of this. Remember, like the Infinite Cat Project? The Department enjoys rattling its saber for its own ends. Now it can rattle it for me. The following people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. In Canada, the five imprisoned leaders of Liberté de Québec. In Sri Lanka, Nine of the Asian Infinite Fuck. Cat Project. Is it still gone? Is it still gone? Does it look like it? That was risky. I should have clicked on that. I shouldn't have clicked on that. That could have been porn. Started off with that picture of that cat. Oh wait. Oh the fuck to what? That's not the that's not the that's not the same. It's a cat. That's a cat look that, that that's that's the right this is the wrong order. That's it there. Right, then that. I don't know, that they fucked that up right away with the second picture. There you got that cat there, right? That cat's on the screen there, and that cat's looking at that one. And then you got a picture of that cat looking at that one, looking at that one. And then that. And then that. And that. 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 Yeah, yeah, eh? They were the days. Two cats. Fucking, you're missing pictures here. There you got that orange one. 
You got the ginger one, the grey one, looking at the, the, the white one. Who's this? They've missed some. That's all right. I don't think that counts. That cat is cats looking at cats looking at cats forever. That one's not looking at it. Brian and Ghost Liam, thanks for the subs. Now you haven't seen him for twenty eight years, but he's here don't now. Seen him then. You don't remember <laughs> seeing him then? Well, say hello to your dad now. So you're that high. So you did speak to him. So you did speak to him. When you were, when you were wee, but you don't remember. Robert, come and say hello to your son, your little boy. Come in, Robert. So loud compared to the rest of it. Oh, sorry, I, I missed him. See? Nothing to be proud of that kid. He come in and look. It's me, Dad. Come on, what's this fucking dressed up like he's um a old bank manager? Waistcoat. Hi there. They're after a loan. We'll see if we can sort something out. Might not get everything that you want, but we can sort you out with something. Take a seat. It's all right, aye. I know you've got a lot to catch up on, and while you're doing that, we're going to take a break right there, but we will be back in a couple of minutes. See you then. I'm so pleased for you. Thank you. Aye. All right. Fucking pat him in the back. He him two big big two big sort of hits on the back, you know, like, and then you know, kind of slow moving. I am here now. Now I am here. Fuck no, to fucking Australia. There you go. You can deal with him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start again. New life, new life for me. So, just something I want to know. What is it, my son? How could you look at me and leave? What was it about me looking at me when I was a wee a wee when that wasn't enough to make you stay well you've got to understand me this is you know me and me and your mother um no longer wanted to mutual no 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 I know I know about you and my mom but why did you know just move to you know nearby or something there weren't any jobs there weren't any, and I planned and coming back um, every every what every what every every three months, flight to back to Australia and there again. How were you able to do it? What was it about me? Was it was it my haircut? Was it the clays? Were they a bit too minging or something? Did I annoy you? Did my voice annoy you? Why? How could you look at me and go, ah, nah? Wasn't there enough? Now that, now that you say that, it, it, it wasn't like that. It doesn't matter anyway, Dad. Here, take, take, take a look at this. Flick knife. <coughs> Neck. Just stop. Sorry, 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 sorry. Need my pain. <laughs> don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. That's it. Don't, 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 don't move. That's it, that's it. Then you go. Then you go. There you go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. There you go. That's it. 
Hodney's now looked up with a knife in the neck. That's it. There you go. There you go. Go to sleep now. I should. No more pain. <laughs> no more pain. That's it. That's it. That's it. How are you and your dad getting... What happened? No more pain. No more pain. What have you done to your wrists? <laughs> <laughs> Benny Stecks, G-Funk. Thanks for the subs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Edmo thinks it's sub. Will you continue with your current comb over until this isn't a fucking comb over? This isn't a comb over. Starting to look like the guy for the Hamlet advert. It's not a fucking comb over. You talk, you talk me like that. It's not, it's not, it's not comb, it's not combing over. Edin, look that there, like that. That's like that, right? A fucking comb over. I'm not trying to hide. it. I'm not like that. Oh, oh, oh! It's not comb over. Look, look, look. Hell, hell. It's not comb over. It's not comb over. So no come over. <laughs> El Storco. Blue Ball Bo thinks the subs. Only you can make yourself laugh so hard, you sadistic old fart. Love it. Oh, I love stuff like that. It's still for my sense of humour, isn't it, for everybody? for everybody. Adverts, please, 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 please. Oh, wait a minute, it's got a time code thing. Don't think we're going to get adverts. No, we're not. Oh, that's a shame. Uh... What's coming next? Hello and welcome back. And I'm. Yeah, again, film it again. Sorry, you in the background there? Ha well, if it, could you. Silla, we're going to go again. You, you finished scratching your ankle? Hello. Welcome back, and I'm just about to have a little walkabout. And I may as well start with you, Chuck. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's your name? Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi. Who are you with tonight? I said Dave. Not Steve, Dave. Hello. What's your name? Steve. Dave. Hi, Hi Steve. No, no, say, don't say Steve. I said Dave. Dave, Steve. Dave, Steve. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's your name? Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi. Who are you with tonight, Steve? Steve. What accent's that? What's your name? Steve. 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 Got a London, Essex or something like that. Hi, Steve. Hi. Who are you with tonight, Steve? Girlfriend, my mum. Oh, your girlfriend and your mum. That's right. That's what I said. Is there an echo in here? Are you a parrot? Soup in unlimited rice pudding. Thanks for subs. What kind of music do you like, Steve? All sorts. All any, sorts. Any music, yeah. Any music. Right, so, I, so all right, and you're into um, Rachmaninoff. No, you don't know who that is? It's just that you said you're into everything. Well, maybe maybe if you played, played it, I'd like it. No, no, you said you like it. All right, and maybe not everything. So you don't like it? You know what, Steve? We're just going to leave you. I had a fucking amazing surprise for you, but we're just going to leave it there because you're a problem. You're a problem. And I don't think I should be around you anymore. You're a dirty bird, and I don't think I should be around you anymore. Uh, Annie Wilkes. B 
be around you. If you've never seen Misery, I mean, I don't know how much a spoiler that is, but lots of fun. All sorts. All sorts. Any music, yeah. Any music. He's a dirty bird, and I don't think I want to be around him for a while. Sixties. Yeah. yeah, a lot of sixties. <laughs> you like me? Has your mother ever told you about me? <laughs> In a word, no. no. She has. Ah, nothing. <laughs> Has your mother ever told you about me? <laughs> In a word. No. <laughs> yeah. Fucking waiting at it. He's just like, I'm just going to wait at it. I'm going to wait at it. Just going to wait at it. Just waiting at it. There he is. In a word, no. no. She hasn't. No. no. She hasn't. But never mind. Just a little. I feel in a very generous mood tonight, Steve. And there's a little surprise gift token for you to buy any music that you like. But I suggest, you know, Sounds of the 60s starring Silla Black. All right? <laughs> there you go, Steve. Well done. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that? A, a, um, uh, I was too busy just sort of taking a piss to. Was it his, his birthday and he got a. I like a kind of uh, Woolworths or. kind of voucher. Hello. That's it. Hello. What's your name? It's, just, it's wee things, everybody. It's no but They'll have this on a spreadsheet. Right. What's our big one? The big ending one? It's this one. And then had to get taken away, didn't they? Right, and so you didn't see them. But you found it recently where they were in Australia and you had your first phone call. How did that feel, etc.? That's your big one at the end. And you got something like that, but not quite as big, about halfway. Start with a wee daft one. Also have a wee daft one here that's multiple wee ones. Like... There's a wee gift voucher for you. There's a wee thing for you. You, actually, you come down to the Silla sofa. I might speak to you for a wee second. There was a ceremonial uniform that you couldn't get to wear when you did national service. Well, surprise, surprise. Things like that. They'll have it on a spreadsheet. That's what I did with, with Lemmy's show and Lemmy's homemade show. A combination of... That's a short sketch, a long one, a short one, a long one, a short one, a serious one, a no serious one, thoughtful one, a daft one, a dancing one, a no dancing one, things like that. So it's no too much of the same thing back to back. That's what they'll have here. It'll be colour coded and everything just like mine. Hi, sweetheart. Margaret. Margaret, hello, Margaret. Now, I happen to know that you love the sound of the 70s. You're not the 60s person. You like the sound of the 70s. And the 60s. And the 60s. I, I, and the 60s, but I did like the 60s, Silla. Fucking turn her in, you. Oh. This cunt. Fucking turn her in. Is he with her? You wouldn't have, like, um, the da or husband or anything like that in the seat in front. Turn her in. My God, it's Scylla, she's here. Fucking turn around, look at... Look, do what, do what they're doing there. Look at... And them. Look at the monitors. He's like, ah, oh, my God, Scylla. He's looking at her hair. Hairspray. Which hairspray? A certain singer-songwriter from the 70s, yeah. from Ireland, that you adore. Who um, 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 Ireland 70s, Val Dunican. Um... What's her name? Uh, would it be Daniel Donner, who's 80s? Who would that be? Gilbo Sullivan. Claire. <laughs> the moment I saw you, I swore. <laughs> Have you got all his records? Have 
records. Yes. Who? Have you ever, have you ever Aye, seen Dana. Him? Aye. Seen him live in the theatre. You've never seen him live in the theatre? So you've never, ever met him? And there's no point in me giving you a record token either because you've got all his records anyway. Yes. It doesn't matter though, Margaret, because surprise, surprise, here in the flesh, your idol from the 70s is Gilbert O'Sullivan. Come in, Gilbert. Oh, that cunt. <laughs> Never like to look at this cunt. Never like to look at this cunt. He looks like fucking Charlie Chuck. I remember hearing about Gilbert and Sullivan. Gilbert and Sullivan, like a songwriting team or whatever. And I was like, but there's another guy called Gilbert O'Sullivan. And for years it would just sort of pop in my mind now and again. Like, Gilbert and Sullivan... Gilbert O'Sullivan, what's going on there? He re he named himself Gilbert O'Sullivan as a bit of a kind of um, as a reference to Gilbert and Sullivan. It's not a coincidence. He, he, he did, was... Ancient Bowow, a man went into a bread shop. He said, I want a donut, a cream bun, and a slice of that cake. And over there, he said, You can have a donut, you can have a slice of that cake. Over there, <laughs> but you can't have a cream bun. <laughs> I said I want a donut, a cream bun, and a slice of that cake. Over there. <laughs> 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 I remember the first time I saw him was on the uh, James Whale, did the, the James Whale show. And he had time on, I was like, who the fuck is this cunt? And then he was on the whole Reeves and Mortimer stuff. And I was like, what's with the, and I used to see the greetings thing, the the, 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 the crying fucking face, the greetings. I was like, I used to piss myself at that. And then I realised, James Whale was a prick guy, and then I realised, oh, he's laughing. It's when he feels himself fucking laughing, he goes into greeting. Look. Look. <laughs> I think. Over there. Have a donut. Can I have a slice of that cake? Over there. But you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a cream bun. I said I want a donut, a cream bun, and a slice of that cake. <laughs> Stop frightening me. <laughs> Over there. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> um, it, it, I, I don't know. I, I think he probably goes on for a wee bit longer. But he would do things like that, just these wee fucking stories that would even really have a, a fucking punchline. Might even have a fucking punchline. They just sort of end. So there it is. Are you happy now, Margaret? Surprise. Era and Lucius. Thanks for the subs.
Fucking clap. Surprise. What do you think of our Gilbert close up? Is he gorgeous? Oh. <laughs> Are you glad you came tonight? Yes, definitely. And you owe all this to your daughter Tanya, then. Yes, thank you, Tanya. Now, Gilbert, we can't let you go without dedication. How curious. How curious. Look, see if he was right there in front of me, I'd be looking at him going, uh, and I'd be like, wait a minute. What age is he? I'd be like, 60s? And I'd look at the forehead and I'd go, 30s? 40s? But look at the hair, hairline. But then the colour, is he dying it? The neck. I'd say, you know what age I think he is there? Same age as me. Uh, maybe a couple of years older. Because it's like kind of crease, 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 crease. And he's not even really doing much with his eyes, you know, he's not smiling. Is he older or younger? I'm 48. 49 in October. Is he older or younger than me there? What do you think? Older. Possibly 51. Possibly 51. I was just looking at his jawline. And that's no kind of went to pot wage. Gil, uh, Gilbert O'Sullivan. What was that, 95? 40 fucking nine? Uh, he's born, well, actually... Aye. He's born in December 1946. Wait a minute, what does that mean then? Forty-eight. This was this this wasn't this this when was this? June ninety-five. He ha he hasn't yet turned forty-nine. He's forty-eight. He's pretty much the exact same age as me, and doing it in a month. Doing it in a month. I knew there was something familiar. The eyes, the hairline's gone, but some people hold on to their hair for fucking ages. Some people are bald, age 20. He's not really doing much with his eyes. Especially. Aye. 48 looks about right. Yeah. I don't know, I'd do away with the hair, really. He's one, he's one of the cunts that would look a million times better if he got a haircut. I mean, we all remember when Michael Bolton got his haircut. We all remember that. And I've showed it in the stream before. I said, oh, I want to show you the bit where um, I remember when the video was out at the time, I fucking hated it because it it, it, it does this wee thing. Wait a minute. That. That. Right. And I was like, oh, look. Oh, it's a wee hot spot there. Look, it's a wee peak. Because other people must like that bit. Fine. That's why. That's why. That's why. Some people have not yet discovered pornographic websites, I don't think. And they keep coming back to this. And then what was it again? 
I said, can I touch you there? No, I still had the hair. What was it? What was the... When he got his hair cut. When he got his hair cut. Look at his fucking stadium now, man. You carry the weight. Who are you fucking kidding with? What's with a fucking Warhol fucking wig? Tefan, Wilma, thanks for subs. Happy Prime Day, bought yourself anything nice. I actually did buy something yesterday, but I'm looking because of that fucking Prime Day thing. I don't even know what the fuck it is. I looked at it thinking it was, um... I'm not, not getting suggested any old shit. What was the one where he had his hair cut? Ah, oh, fuck knows. What's the one where he just had his hair cut? Oh. Right, go on, mate. Roll for gladiators, aye. For our Margaret here. What are you going to sing? Absolutely, it's a new song from a new album. It's called Dear Dream. And I'll dedicate it to dear you. Dear Dream. For you, dear Margaret. Thanks a lot, Gil, but you go and get go yourself ahead. ready. Okay, see you. And Margaret and I. There's something about Thanks him. Thanks a lot, Gil, but you go and get go yourself ahead. ready. Okay, see you. And There's something about him. From a new album. It's called Dear Dream. What's he all about? Our Margaret here. What are you going to sing? Absolutely, it's a new song from... There's something about his eyes, his expression. You know who he reminds me of? Peter Dinklage. From a new album. It's called Dear Dream. And I'll dedicate it here. What are you going to sing? Absolutely. It's a new song from a new album. No, but your Peter Dinklage has got a kind of serious way to him. Hugh Laurie. You know, kind of... A bit sort of serious until he sort of smiles about something. Then he's right back to a kind of... As if he's thinking about something. Well, cool. I slight Richard E. Grant, but Richard E. Grant would be smiling all the time. Let's see Richard E. Grant, that fucking baft is. I never did see this. Richard E. Grant, bafter. Entrance, does he, does he? Oh, he did a bit at the beginning, I didn't know that. Yeah. This evening, Richard E. Uh, where's this then? Where's that? What's this? Uh, what's this place? Wait a minute, have I been in here? Grant! <laughs> Press of the whole South Bank. Ah, oh, he snapped at a character. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? We're in for a great night. We're in for a great night. And I'll dedicate it to you. Daydream. For you, dear Margaret. Thanks a lot, Gil, but you go and get go yourself ahead. ready. Okay. And Margaret and I, Margaret, we're going to swoon okay. together. Okay. We are going to swoon together on the Silla sofa, all right? Come on, Chuck. So much fucking sofa. Now, is he going to run up for a kiss? No, I don't think he's going to take them. Huh? Billy. Did they date? By the way, did they date? Did they date a handshake or something? What did they do when he when he when he met her? Surprise! What do you think of our? Oh oh! Is that, wait a minute! Was that right on the fucking lips? Hold well on. To the side. Almost. Ah, that's uh, that's just like it's almost like the just the. That's as close as you can get with it. Right, that is. Practically, that's like side of the lips. 
She's lying with a horn right in the fucking hair. Grabbing his hair. Where are you going? No, no. Now that I've got you, I'm not going to let you go. Surprise. What do you think of our Gilded? Basically infidelity. Close <laughs> up. Right, get on, Matt. Benjo and Tenacious. Thanks for subs. Gift subs. The Samara seller is here. Good on him and everything, but because I want to get a separate. I've been very nice, nice to have this episode finished before I have to fucking leave. Yeah. Has that made your dream come true, Margaret? Yes. yes. You enjoyed it, didn't you? I did. Oh, it was lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, Gilbert O'Sullivan and the lovely Margaret here. Well done. This year is the Chinese year of the pig. But for Sue Hoare in High Wycombe, every year is the year of the pig. Because she loves them. In fact, nothing would give her greater pleasure than pigging about in a sty. So we decided to send the lovely, cuddly Ted Robbins along. Who? We are piggy in the middle. I don't remember any Ted Robbins. So oh, him! She's even got one as a guard pig. Oh, get off, get off, get off. <laughs> Hello, Sue. Surprise, surprise, Sue. Scylla sent me. <laughs> that, this is a, that's a genuine surprise there. <laughs> Scylla has sent me, Sue, because she had a letter from your husband, John, and he told us that you've got a great love and affinity for a certain farmyard animal. What is it? It's a pig. Yeah, and you love them, don't you? You've got little china pigs. Did she say it's a pig? Farmyard animal, what is it? It's a pig. Yeah. Did she say... Great love and affinity for a certain farmyard animal. What is it? It's a pig. Yeah. And you look it's a it pig. It's a pig. See, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have said that. I would have said uh, it's pigs or it's the pig. Not a pig. Because it sounds like you're talking about it's a pig. She says the pig. She didn't say the pig. I say the pig, the creature, the species known as the pig. Oh, I'd say pigs. A pig sounds a bit like um, there's a pig. There's this. There's this pig. Kind of pigs, and if your family ever see them on television, what do you do? You call it. You go hog wild, don't you? <laughs> Do you ever get a chance, Sue, to get really in amongst loads of pigs? No, no, I haven't, no. You, you haven't? Well, Sue, still has arranged it for you to spend a day on a pig farm. How about that? Oh, you're not serious? Yes, you've had a very special birthday. Oh, is he not allowed to say surprise, surprise? Is he not allowed to? Only Scylla gets to say that. Haven't you? Yes, I do. Well, yeah. this is your birthday treat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wake up in a minute. OK, so I want you to streak in there. And get your Mac on and get... Listen, there's no point in saying anything about people's teeth. This is... This is the Isle of Britain. Just at, by default, everybody's teeth is fucked. Get your wellies on and we're going to the pig farm today. Today? Yes. He said surprise, surprise when, when she opened the door. All oh, right. Right. Go on, girl, and we'll trot on. Great stuff. <laughs> Oh, Cotton Eye Joe. Now, Sue, to a pig, this is steak and chips with mushrooms on the side, onion rings, and a nice bottle of claret. But to us, it's lunch. Oh, I'll have a bacon butty. Oh, Come on, let's go feeding them pigs. Suey, Suey's coming. Suey, Suey. Might buy myself a tractor. For she eats bacon, <laughs> maybe. That's the duality of of humans, isn't it? What do you get when you cross a dinosaur with a pig? I don't know. Jurassic pork. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant, man. This stuff is really good for your complexion. 
<laughs> oh, there, he's a good laugh, him. Oh, it's nice little teddy. What is it? What was that? Oh, it's nice little teddy, isn't it? What, because of what? Why are they doing that? Could they not... This stuff is really good for your complexion. <laughs> is that it? But they, they saw that they were walking in mud. The audience saw that they were walking in mud. Already, you could see it. Oh, mud! Oh, it's nice little Ted, isn't it? Yeah, what about the smell? Oh, the pigs will get used to it. <laughs> oh, look at all these lovely pigs. Remind me, why are they here? Do you say a herd of pigs? I think you do. Well, of course yeah. I've heard of pigs heard about... Of pigs. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, look at them all. Why are they here again? Well, because as they roam about freely, they gently lose some of their fur, a bit like a cat, as they molt and drop fur, and we pick it up and spin it into a lovely material used by some of the finest tailors across the world. We gently pick it up once they've went away and they don't notice that they've lost it. That's why they're here. Oh, why are they here? Why are they here in this environment? On the pig farm. Oh, I've had a lovely time, thank yeah. you, yes. You've really mucked in, haven't you? Yes, I have. <laughs> I get it. You've been such a great sport and you, you, you've really got in, you've got mud over yourself, you haven't cared, you, your hands have been in there. We think you need a bit of pampering on another type of farm. So Scylla has just said that you can have a day of... I thought he was pulling at a knife. On a top exclusive health farm. I he's pulling at a knife. He's just said that you... A gun. You can have a I thought he's pulling out a piece. A top exclusive health farm. That's a special birthday present, okay? It's all right. Surprise, surprise, oh, surprise on all of us. And on top of that, you've got to take a little pig away. You can't have one of these, but do you want him? Because he's nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's for you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Why did you thank? Um, why did you thank oh, her? Thank you. No, thank you, because basically we wouldn't have a programme without people like yourself. There'd be no programme. Thank you. And your programme pays for people like me, presenters. And that's basically how I earn a living, how I pay the bills and things like that. So thank you. Thank you. to have an epidemic of birthdays tonight. Would you believe it? There's a fella sitting here who's celebrating his birthday today. Don't say what age he is. Gal Fungo and Tommy, thanks for subs. And surprise, surprise, it's you, Mick Lyons. <laughs> 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 you are totally gobsmacked, aren't you, Mick? Oh, yes. <laughs> you are celebrating. Mm. I think so. Then look gobsmacked to me. Celebrate your birthday. She said it. Hi, it's you, Mick Lines. <laughs> Did she say? Oh. Do, you know, do you know we seem to have an epidemic of birthdays tonight? Would you believe it? There's a fella sitting here who's celebrating his birthday today. And surprise, surprise, it's you, Mick Lines. <laughs> <laughs> you are totally gobsmacked, aren't you, Mick? Oh, yes. <laughs> you are celebrating your birthday. May I, may I ask how old you are? You look well on it, whatever age you are. I've got a... Um, 40. Another year for my pension. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, is that... You're 64, then? That's yes, right. When I'm 64 and you've got all your own hair, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> Introduce me. Is this your good lady wife? It is. Yes. yes. Ina. Hello, Ina. Well, I know all about you, actually, Mick, because you've retired recently. That's right. And uh, I know you, you're fanatic about golf. You do play golf, but I since do. you've retired, you've taken it up even more. Is that mm -hmm. right? That's correct. Yep, yep, yes. And you've Hold just moved out, is that right? Go to his charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Former sense. And now, where, where did you live? Where did you used to live? We used to live in Eltham. Right. And now we live in Hockley, in Essex. In Essex? Yes. 
So, are you a member of the local golf club there? Not yet, no. Not yet? No. Well... There's a special birthday present to you. We have got you a year's full membership at your local golf club. Yes, oh. Garen Park Golf Club. Super duper. Thank you very much. Has that much. made your birthday? Uh, it certainly has. And here to present you with that year's membership is the captain of the European Ryder Cup team, the one and only Bernard Gallagher. Come in, Bernard. Ah, uh, great. You see... There's a reason why I haven't joined the club yet. You know, I can get in any time I want. There's a reason why I haven't... I've not got on it yet. I want to get up to speed. I'm a wee bit out of practice. So I was thinking about maybe three months. And then I'll join. But now, you've signed me up. Right now. I'm not stepping foot in that golf fucking club for about three months. So that's going to be, um, that's nine months. That's basically nine months I've got. Those well, nine months for free is better than... Yeah. It's just that it would irritate me that I could have had 12 months for free and I'm only getting nine months. I would rather you just didn't give me it. Here, have it back. Oh, yeah, keep the Happy birthday to you. Now, are you going to stay and give him a few golfing tips, I'm Bernard? Sure, yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, Ina, Chuck, Ina. You've lost him again. <laughs> I think you better get up there, Ian, and let them both sit down. Come here. We'll go and have a gossip on oh. the Zilla sofa. Come oh. on, you fellas. You sit down there and oh. have a gossip about golf. Okay. Oh. All right. See you later, mate. Oh. Come on, Ian. All right. All right. Uh, sit down there, Ina. Right. You want to speak to me? You have just moved down, so are you in the... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, well, good luck with that. Now, I know you love writing to people. Have you written to everyone and told them your new address, Ina? I have Ina? indeed. Yeah. I have indeed. What about your special friend, your special pen friend, who lives Spen in Australia? Yes. Yeah, have you written to her? Oh, I've written, written to her. Aye. Her that's in Australia. But she's very far away. I'd love to see her. But, Australia. Anyway, why why have you brought me down here? Um, have you, are you going to give me a pen? Fancy pen? Why have you brought me down here? You fucking better be bringing her out. Yeah. Now, how long have you been writing to this lady? What's her name? Margaret. 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 It's a long time, isn't it? About over, over 50, 50 years. Over 50 years. 50 oh, fucking years. So you've shared some gossip in your letters, Indeed, haven't you? Indeed, we have, yes. Have you ever met Margaret? No, only spoken to her on the telephone. Well, surprise, surprise. Here's your pen friend you've been writing to for over 50 years. Here she is, all the way from Australia. Come in, Margaret. Say hello to your pen friend. She's like, no. That can't be right. You know why? Because she's thinking... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't actually have a pen pal in Australia. I'm sorry, what? It's something... Uh, this is embarrassing now. It's something I wanted a pen pal. But I used it... I used to have a diary... And it's kind of good to write down your thoughts and stuff like that. But I felt like I was only writing to myself and not giving myself any answers back. So I tried something for a bit of fun. It started off as a bit of a joke to myself. I cringed the first time I did it, but then I got in it. I would write away telling my thoughts, this has happened, that's happened. And then I would write back in the voice, you know, in, you know, in the written word, but in the voice of this other person who would give me advice. And I would basically be giving myself advice, but I'd just be imagining, what would this person say to me right now? And and then I would make up some gossip for their end. You know, so then they just seem like one way. And I've been keeping up for quite long. It's People go to therapy and stuff like that. And a lot of it is just kind of talking about yourself and your thoughts and stuff like that. And you might get a bit of advice back. People say I'm really good at giving advice but no very good at taking it. So I thought about that and I thought, well, I'll give myself advice like I'm giving advice. 
and I would leave it for a week. I would write, send it away, and then you know post it to myself. And then after a week, I'd kind of forgotten what I wrote. So it made me feel like I really was actually giving advice to somebody else. And you say you've got her here. What? All the way from Australia. Come in, Margaret. Say what? hello to your pet. Hmm? What? But it, it can't. <laughs> oh, Margaret! <laughs> snapped. She's fucking snapped. Lovely letter, and we thought you deserved a surprise too. Well done, the purview. I think we better take a break there. Thank but you. we've still got more surprises to come, including a very special you know? surprise for someone only the viewers at home can see. Ha 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 ha, you Be fucking wank. Ha ha ha, you someone fucking wank. Only the viewers at home can see right now. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Still there, the exact same spot. Hello and welcome back. And you know, I've just been looking at somebody in our audience. It's you, sweetheart, I'm looking at. Pardon? <laughs> He's surprised. Medgar thinks it's a sub. That was my fucking job. John Candy. Icon Jandy thinks it's subs. Kodiak. Sergeant Sass thinks it's subs. Thank you very much. That that's fine, welcome back. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you look the spitting image of Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying Surprise Surprise tonight? Yeah, it's very good. And I bet you're twitching there a bit. You think I've got a surprise for you, don't you? Uh, I think you probably haven't, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, tough, I haven't, but enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> I have to what? Say, I have to say, sweetheart. You <laughs> You know, you look the spitting image of Mel Gibson. <laughs> Are you enjoying Surprise Surprise tonight? Yeah, it's very good. And I bet you're twitching there a bit. You think I've got a surprise for you, don't you? Uh, I think you probably haven't, no. <laughs> no, tough, I haven't, but enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Enjoy it. <laughs> I do have to say, I have to say, sweetheart. What? No, I don't have anything for you. Bye. Oh, was that the one that looked to run? Yes, you have got the look of so you look your face looks familiar to me. Have you ever been on the telly? A long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. you see, I never forget a face. <laughs> a long time ago, uh, you've been on the telly. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, David, David Hammond. You had to think about that, didn't okay. you, David? <laughs> well, come and chat to me about your telly experience, David, on the sofa. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm well, we're all dying to know, aren't we, gang? <laughs> Yes. Yes. yes, you've been on the telly. What yes. were you doing on the telly? Um, I played a, a small part in Zed Cars a, a long time ago. <laughs> Zed Cars? Do we all remember that? Yes. Oh, yes, I love that. <laughs> what did they used to say that on the telly? What, what was their catchphrase? I can't remember that. <laughs> BD to Zed Victor no. 1. BD to Zed Victor 1. Do you know what BD means? No. No, not do I. What a shame. <laughs> so what were you playing in Zed Cars? Um, how, how long ago was this? How old were you, love? I was about 12, 13 years old. Yes. Yeah, so it's a good few years ago. And you were playing a schoolboy? I was playing a schoolboy. How many episodes were you in? 
Um, I don't know, probably about four or five. Oh, really? It's based now, on the real important to me. Do you have any copies of these episodes so you can play them to your family and everything? No. You no. don't? No. no. Well, surprise, surprise, we have. <laughs> <laughs> we have got one very special episode. Can't shout if you're welcome. Yourself. No. Well, we are. We are. <laughs> David, have a look at this. Right, here we go. Oh, Mum, Dad's not here yet. You promised. Well, it'll not be long, so I'll come up and see you before you go to sleep. Well, what one's he? Come on, now. One on the left, middle one. What about Pete? Pete will not be up much longer. What one? You go. You ought to oh, thank you. <laughs> it could have been somebody. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, and what a little cherub you look there, oh. David. You really did. <laughs> Do you mean fucking old deal like it was shite? Surprise. You can take that full episode home with you. And here to present that episode is Chief Inspector Barlow himself, Stratford Johns. Come in, Stratford. Hello there. Hello, young fellow. Hello, young fellow. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got that lovely present. And I presentation. have this wonderful present for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Awesome. And Stratford, I have to say, we all adored him in Ooh. said cars. The big cheer that you got A when you came on you. there. We love you in the theatre. Gold VHS. We, saw you in Annie, we all saw you in Scrooge. But we want him back on the telly, don't we? Yes! yes. You're the man we love to hate, Stratford. Well then. <laughs> Shall I get rid of this one for you, then? Why not? Come Ladies on, and gentlemen, not. Stratford Johns and David. How long have I got left? Less than ten minutes. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. Well, Dennis, our tuba player, has arrived. We've oh, good, 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 tuba, good. And here he is, along with Herbie Flowers and our surprise tuba orchestra. Herbie and Flowers, who he is not a fan of. Nelly the Elephant. Has simply heard him. And recognises it as a good player, but not a fan. They're doing it, they're, they're doing it. He's, there's bits where he's, he looks like he's breathing, but you can still hear the notes. Skip, skip, skip. There you go. <laughs> What's this? Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's shite! <laughs> They're laughing at him. Fancies himself as a bit of a character. Fancies himself as a bit of a character, this one. Everybody, we have a mere six minutes left. I think we're coming up to the big finale. Oh, I tell you what, nobody sleeps while they're on. Now, didn't they blow well? Yes! Well done, Dennis, and especially to Herbie Flowers and the rest of the tuba players. Indeed. Well done, Herbie. Right. Oh, so that's held by there, right? Oh, didn't they, nobody really laughed at it, didn't they? Blow well because '95 and her era as well. Like for you, they didn't really say blow and to blow someday and blow jobs. They didn't really say that that much. It was gobbles. Well, now, Owen and Scovern thinks the subs. Uh, what noise are they hitting the, the tennis ball? Eh! That glamorous granny that Joe Pasquale talked to <laughs> earlier on the show. There she is, the lovely Julia in red. Surprise, surprise, Julia. Would have you we, like have we seen... And talk to me on the sofa. Tell me about your glamorous granny days. We've seen her. 
The red coats, that's right, the, the red coats, remember? What was that again? Lovely to see you. Thank you. Have a sit down there, sweetheart. Well, a glamorous granny indeed. Yeah. Now, when did you win this competition? Smoker. Three years ago. That's right. You still look well on it, Julia. That's right. And then the dad's grandmother, when she was on her deathbed, she actually told him the truth. Now, I know through all during this time, you've been desperately trying to make contact and find your I son, Roy. It was some horrible thing, wasn't it? That's fucking right. She she was with a guy. And they had a Wayne or Wayne's. They'd sort of split up and I don't know. They, no, no, no. Did you not like wake up one morning and he was away with the fucking Wayne's? He fucked off to Australia. And then the da. Brought the Wayne's up to think that their maw was fucking dead. And... Sarah says, and the grandma said to her son, or whoever, on her deathbed, told, told him the truth. So she was in and out and all. But to no avail. Well, when your Roy found out in 1977, he did his detective work, but it took him a hell of a long time, till 1986, and you finally made contact. How was that for you? It must have been absolutely wonderful, wasn't it? I nearly died. Ah. It was a dream come yeah. true. Yeah. Well, I know it, it would make your dreams come true to see your little boy again, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. That's my wish before I close my eyes. Oh, oh that's right. I remember that. That's my wish before I close my eyes. And I was wondering, does she mean every night before she closes her eyes and goes to sleep or the eternal closing of the eyes? Oh, boy again, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. That's my wish before I close my eyes. Oh. Well, surprise, surprise, Julia. We're going to make your dream come true tonight. You haven't seen him for over 30 years. Say a little low, a big hello to your baby son. Come in, Roy. Come in, sweetheart. Say hello to your mum. There he is. That's right. Tom Selleck, cunt. Yeah, Wayne snatched away. But as, as, as the dad did, I can't remember. He fucking better be. He fucking better be. Reaching out, holding hands. Tell me the dad's deed. We're going to kill him for you. all we have time for this week I'm afraid I'd like to thank everyone who's taken part in tonight's show Joe Pasquale, Herbie Flowers, Ted Robbins Matt Lorenzo, Gilbert O'Sullivan Bernard Gallagher and Stratford Johns so until next week ta for now ta then ta for now, ta then a lovely person a lovely person what she's done for these people out her own pocket by the way out her own pocket She'll have paid for that out of her own pocket. She'll have paid for that out of her own pocket. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, the pig farm. I'll be fucking angry watching that. Angry. I'm angry again. Angry again. Da snatching the fucking Wayne. It's alright, we found him. Right, that's good, but I want justice. I want just justice is what I want more than my son back. Would you be willing to trade in? Now here's your choice. Would you be willing to trade? If there was a choice, if I told you that 
behind there is your son ready to meet you. Or I can give you news that the da got tortured to death recently. There's a maniac going about. Which of those two would you like to hear? I'm not going to tell you which one, which only one of them is true. What would you prefer? What would you prefer? The torture to death, and the reason is he took my Wayne after me, completely by surprise. Wasn't it some sort of arrangement? Just left, stole my Wayne, and went to Australia. I, w I want to hear that, that that happened, because then I can also meet my son. No, no, no. The option is you never meet your son. So it's either something really bad has happened to the dad and his deed, and something really bad happened to him before it. But um, bad news is your, your, your son died a couple of years ago, heart condition or something. Or I tell you that your son is like behind there, ready to meet you. Also, though, see the dad? Uh, he won the lottery and he's having the time of his life. That's him set up for life. Which one out of the two scenarios? Um, I would like to hear the news that it's sad that my son passed away for heart condition a couple of years ago, but that prick got tortured to death. You wouldn't want to meet your son, just get past it? No, I need revenge. I wouldn't be able to live with it. I need it. Well, unfortunately, bad news. Your son is alive. <laughs> Pablo, Frank, Celtic thinks the subs. But sell it on the BBC. You know what issues they... I've had it. No, I don't. I don't think she was. She might have had some program in the seventies or something, but or the sixties. But that was all. All her blind date, surprise, surprise, was ITV. Everybody, thank you very much for the subs, the subs, the bits, the tip, tips. Thanks everybody just for watching mods. Thank you very much for the modding. Um, and now we'll be back the morrow with Mera the fucking same. I'm absolutely busting. Oh wait a minute, hold on. This is Wednesday, isn't it? Absolutely Boston. Boston. PCCRP, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll be back the morrow and we continue the summer of Silla until we can't take it anymore. All right? Until we can't take it anymore. Thank you very much for watching and I'll fucking see you tomorrow. Bye for now.